we're back. We're gonna start with the Marie boss fight, and then we're gonna just keep going until the end. That's the plan. We're gonna finish this game. I've been playing it for a very long time now, so... Let me just double check my items. Don't have a lot of windbreakers, but that's fine. I'm sure what we've got is fine. Let's go. Only one way to find out. Senpai, are you ready? Here we go. Why did you come this far? To save you. Thank you. But it won't do you any good. I'm tired. I... I just want to end it all. Shut up. You know what that means. You think we're just going to lie down and let you do that? Marie-san, please listen. Even if you are one of those creatures... That's still no reason for you to end your own life. The two Sagiri have been defeated. Whoops. Free? Is that what you think? That's not true. I'm not like you. I don't have freedom. What do you mean? I told you already. If I don't die, then your world will disappear. Our role was more than to simply find out the wishes of man. Our true role is to control the fog and bring that wish to fruition. Control the fog? Don't you think it's strange that the fog never went away? That it lasted for months? The Sagiri created the fog. And I absorbed it. The fog that changes people to shadows. Wait! Then, the reason the fog cleared was... That's right. When Amino Sagiri was defeated, the fog covering your town was no longer needed. Then I heard a voice. And all the fog flowed into me. The fog isn't gone. Even now, it's raging inside me. No way. So the fog isn't gone after all that? It's just in you now? When my mind is completely overpowered by the fog, I will disappear. Taking the fog and the hollow forest with me, I am... a being destined for non-existence. That's the memory that came back to me. The world will be saved. We won't let you do that. Yes, even if that is her real reason for hiding herself in the Hollow Forest, I cannot agree with the conclusion she is drawing. Hell no! She's saying that we can only have world peace in exchange for her life? Screw that! That's why. That's why I left. Because there's no point in seeing you. We'll just hurt each other. It's okay. It's all okay. I've already made enough memories of my own. Fun. Happy memories. If you're not gonna leave now, then I'll have to make you leave by force. Please. Just understand. Damn it, why did it end up like this? What are we gonna do, partner? We're stopping her. Okay, we're saving her! If we give up here, then why the hell did we even bother coming all this way? Yeah, we're not gonna let anyone else suffer from that fog. We have to do it. Let's go. Alright, all right, let's see how this goes. I don't want you to suffer anymore. Why don't you understand? Senpai, we can't lose here. 
The peace we've earned shouldn't come at the cost of anyone's life. We cleared the world of the fog, and now we're getting rid of it for good. We're not gonna get through to her like this. Sorry, we're gonna have to whoop her ass first. This is our problem, too. We can't let Marie-chan be the only one to bear all of this herself. Here goes. This is for your own good. You still don't get it? Oh, you've been flipped, Disney? Ugh. And it's a weird type of lightning because it didn't affect me and Yusuke because we've got the repel light, repel elect. So it's a different element as well. Oh boy. Uh, can you get hit right now? Yes, okay. They'll get up eventually. I can still do this. Persona! There! You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Ain't that the true? Let's go! Shell of Denial. I'm gonna assume that this is where I've got to start using breaks, but let's just double check. Oh, well, I guess I'll test it. Let me use, uh, I think the fastest way of testing this would probably be to use the Fire Break and see if uh, Yukiko can do something. Fire resistance nullified. It's over. Yes, that's how it works. Okay. Uh, then he should use the windbreaker so that y Yosuke can hit. Why? Why do you still come? All you have to do is abandon me. Marie looks bewildered. Persona. Persona. Cool! I will just use, uh, uh, fire because I can get fucked. I could probably use, I could presumably also use all my A. Uh, uh, you can use wind. Marie's will to fight is ebbing. Okay, so that must be the end of the fight then. Well, that's the end of the first part anyway. Huh? How's that, you punk? Now are you gonna listen to us? Why? It doesn't matter what happens to me. You're stupid. Hurting yourselves like that. If my death keeps you from being happy, what am I dying for? Don't say you're going to die. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I used to be just a shadow too, but even I could change. Emi-chan, you have to believe. Believe in us. What good comes of belief? You save me, and your world is gonna disappear. Is that what you want? That's what it means when you tell me you want me to live. So stupid. Afraid of living off borrowed life. Afraid to disappear. Thinking that maybe I could remember something and then I'd have a life worth living. It's funny. I remember now. I already have a role. And it's to disappear. 
I shouldn't have ever remembered. It would have been better if I'd never remembered. Marie-chan. What's wrong? That's right. There is no need for the truth. Ignorance is bliss. Calm down, Scyther. There will be no pain if you never try to find out. That voice! That's not Marie-chan. Is that what she meant by her mind being overpowered? Hey, snap out of it! Uh, don't come near me! Go home! Please, just go home! All you losers! You just don't know when to quit! I never should have met any of you, especially you! I hate you! Hate me all you want. Yeah, what he said. You really aren't true to yourself, are you? You need to work on your acting skills. Stop lying to me! It's not a lie. Everything in this world is the product of someone's mind. This place is yours. This tomb, and the flowers all over it. Your resolve to die is what created this scenery. <gasps> However, on the way here we saw things that don't fit a grave. Juness and Sozai Daigaku signs, the bench on the hill, the electric poles, mirrors, school desks. It's all from the town, the home of the people you say you hate so much. What, you want us to bury you with all that stuff? You like them that much, why don't you come see for yourself, huh? I can't. I have to die. There's another way. Another way? Yeah, he's right. You don't have to go away forever. The only thing that needs to go is your fog. Is there a way to do that? It's impossible. There's no way. If we waste any more time, the fog will take me over and be set free. If that happens, I won't be able to take my own life. I'll become a monster. And that's how. Are you saying we should wait for Marie-chan to be controlled by the fog and then defeat her? Senpai, wait! I mean, it's still her body, right? If we fight the monster... Yeah. Um... Uh... So, what'll happen? I... I don't know. But maybe right now, y you might be able to. I'll put my mind to sleep before the fog overpowers it. Of course, the fog will then take over my body, but my mind will still be safe beneath it. The rest comes down to luck, I guess. Which will give out first? The fog? Or my life? That's one hell of a gamble. What are we gonna do? I'd rather not have to do that. But if there's no other way, then we'll just have to have faith that it'll work. Yeah, it's gotta be better than just sitting here and watching her die. She's not gonna die. We won't let her. This is our friend's life on the line. We can't fail now. Friends. We will save you. All about Even confident it, answers. It would be a better way than letting the current situation continue. But please, don't any of you die. It's coming. Get ready, everyone. Will this really work? Emmy Chan won't die if we fight her. Marie Chan believed in us. We have to believe in her. We will win. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. What good is it to learn the truth? You want me to throw away my worthless self-satisfaction in exchange for eternal suffering and despair? I don't need it. I don't need any of it. What's wrong with turning a blind eye to suffering? I don't want a truth full of pain. I want a peaceful lie. What is this feeling? It's like she's not even seeing us. Suffering, denial, and rejection. She's denying everything. 
Be careful, Senpai. Normal tactics may not work. All right. Marichan, we'll save you. Run a mop. Okay, so that's a physical attack. All right, I'm gonna work on the assumption I should just instantly start with this. Yeah. Oh right, yeah, shit, my, uh, my SP's lowered. <laughs> Struggling for control! Okay. Maybe I should use something that increases attack and lowers whatever. <laughs> you do that. Come on down. No. No. I got her Get fucked. She only hits once as well, which is nice. Raining Fog, is that a heal, by any chance? Or is it just a bigger almighty? Oh, that's annoying. What was that? Marie-chan's power to absorb the fog is going crazy. Careful, Senpai. She's sucking up everything. Soda. Protect me, Kozeon! Okay, cool. Okay, I've got to revert everything again one more time. Yeah, we're fine. But we need to do this again. We're fine. I think we're winning on this turn. This fight was pretty easy. Unless she's got some bullshit as a last attack or something. But I think the fight's meant. It's working. You can do it, Senpai. Don't let your guard down. She'll get you if you do. It's fine. I think we've won. Yeah. Probably now. <laughs> It is over. Super easy. Interesting dun interesting dungeon. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna wasn't as uh, difficult as I thought it was gonna be. Did we do it? Yeah, it was easy. Got a hat back. 
How is she, senpai? Is she okay? Marie isn't moving. She probably needs to relax. No way. This can't be real. No, this can't be. We... Not again. Emmy chan Come on. You're such a sleepyhead. It's time to wake up, okay? Emmy chan No! This isn't happening! What did we do wrong? Emmy chan wake up! Don't die! There you go. Get, get off of me! Marie chan Thank goodness she's alive! Oh! I. That's right. You sleep too much. Everyone gets to sleep once in a while, right? Thank you. We say look away. You think that's long enough for a moving hug? Shouldn't you let go now? Nope. Oh boy. I'm tired of moving. Enough with getting up. Good thing there's someone even I can hug. Hey! Here we go again. Why is it all our friends are like this? You know, there aren't a lot of people who can really mess with Risei-chan. Did you feel the earth move? Or was that just me watching these two? This isn't the time for stupid comments! <laughs> What's going on? Don't tell me. Is this like in the movies where once the bad guy's defeated, his evil fortress self-destructs? Yeah, Joker and his team in Persona 5 are gonna have to get used to that one, because that happens all the time. I'm sorry. I forgot to mention. I don't need to be in this place to die anymore, so it's gonna disappear. Why the hell did you say that sooner? It's gonna take us with it! We're gonna die! We're all gonna die! Just get to the exit! Hurry! Gotta go. Yeah, that was an interesting dungeon. I forgot how tiny the TV here is. Although simultaneously, I think it was kind of pointless. I feel like this has happened before. Are these really your friends? They're all so weird. It's your fault to begin with. The TV! That was never a television. The hollow forest has vanished because there's no more reason for it to exist. We did it! So, how does it feel to have your fate changed? Well, it feels weird. After all, I'm alive. <laughs> well, yeah. That's why we went all the way there and everything. Um, thank you for saving me. And... I'm sorry. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Did you apologize for the first time ever? You... Yeah. <laughs> you just said sorry, didn't you? She did. Very politely. Huh? Uh, it's just that you never seemed like the type who would say that. Huh? You... You stupid jerk! Fine then! F forget it! I take it back! Oh well... Listen to me! What the hell? What is with you people? You risk yourselves to save me? You don't get anything out of it. I don't understand you. That's what friendship is. Really? The power. To be honest, we were hesitant at first. Learning that you were from the other side was kind of confusing. But to not save you just because of that? Oh, that's not how we roll. If we blamed things on someone else and looked the other way, nothing would change. You were in trouble and we saved you. That's all that counts. I don't understand you at all. If not knowing us bothers you, then you should start getting to know us. All of us want you to learn more about this world. Yeah, like Valentine's Day. Valentine? Ah, oh, so you don't know what that is either. Huh. It's an awesome day when a girl gives chocolate to someone she holds dear. Oh, and I already reserved senpai. Whatever. No cheating. Reservation cancelled. 
Why, you... That was quick. Well, let him get to it. Hey, it's clear outside! You're right. I need to do all the laundry. <laughs> My back is killing me. Hey, how about we get some grub? Sounds good. On you, of course. Oh, stop expecting me to buy you lunch all the time. Yeah, I'm okay. Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Okay. Hmm. Are you still worried? Well, when I gave my body up to the fog, I thought I heard a voice. Um, what did it say? Humans don't want to know the truth. What they truly desire is a peaceful world filled with fog. Something like that, anyway. Whose voice was that? I don't know. But it was familiar. The same voice I heard when you defeated Amino Sagiri and the fog flowed into me. Wait. Maybe not. I felt like it was my voice. Maybe it's something I said long ago? Oh well. The fog is gone. I probably just misheard it. <laughs> Scared you, huh? The weather's nice, there's snow all over. What more do we need? Oh, yeah. You ever been in a snowball fight, Marie-chan? Hmm. Hey, how are we gonna split the teams? Boys versus girls would be my assumption. Oh, just running up in... Oh, you're... Oh, he's getting the uh, jiggly ball treatment. He's being bullied by... Similar to JD. I'm supposed to throw snow at him. Isn't that right? You're right. Okay, I won't hold back. Hold on, you have the eyes of a predator. The teams will be women versus men. Now begin. Oh, come on! Kanji, Teddy, what the hell, guys? Take this! Get him, Marie Chan! <laughs> Why are you only going after me? You enjoyed the snowball fight later that day. Yosuke just gets destroyed all the time, so he's, he's just a bro's bro. <laughs> we kick their asses! Those guys can't match our supreme snowball skills! Well, I do feel a bit sorry for them. <laughs> <laughs> Still, today's hero's gotta be Marie-chan. You go, snowball queen! <laughs> That's the wrong gender. It's heroine, not hero. Complexion is amazing. <laughs> Yo, can you see anything? The steam's covering all the good stuff. Uh, hey, Kanji, up, up! Don't let me down now. Ah, uh, Ted, you punk! No, I'm done hey, with this. Cut it. <laughs> this is guilt by association again. I'm sick of this. This time it was this time it is our fault. How did we even remotely come up with that one? Cause the last hot spring thing, we did nothing wrong. You're back. You scored Mary back to the velvet room and returned home. Sure I did. You seemed pretty busy yesterday and today. Did something happen at the ski slopes? Hmm? What's wrong? You smell a bit burnt. Haha! <laughs> you get struck by lightning or something? Still, you seem pretty happy about whatever it was that happened. <laughs> Big bro, do you like sweet things? <laughs> no reason. Oh, right, I see what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, of course, I'm tired from entering the TV. It is time for Valentine's Day, let's go.
February the 14th today is Valentine's Day. You've won text message. XO, 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 Senpai, XO, XO, XO. You know what day it is. Keep your afternoon open. Spend time with Dick Decline. <laughs> Fucking Decline. No. I'm assuming they're gonna get a, an item again. Yo! Yo, Norman! Things were tough yesterday. I never thought I'd get zapped by lightning in real life. Thanks to that shock or whatever, I totally forgot what today was. It's February the 14th, you know. I didn't have much time to prepare myself for this, so I've been nervous all morning. Ugh, somebody help me do something about all this pressure. Believe in yourself. Ha! <laughs> I used to, back when I lived in the city. But it's been nothing but betrayal ever since. Oh man, if I end up just getting friend chocolates and those only from Teddy, I'll never live it down. I'll never live it down. If I get those from Teddy... Oh, it's the results time. Hey everyone, they posted the test results. Ah, the awful moment of truth. Oh well, wanna check it out? Decide to check the test results. You are king of the castle, again. You got the highest score. Whoa, you're a genius, Norman. That's awesome. I'm just as happy as if I got the highest grade myself. The social link friends seem to be looking at you admiringly. You feel like you've become closer to your school friends. Is there any point in that, though? The lunch break is almost over each side to into class. I feel as if I can't do anything else. If I can, amazing, but... I don't think so. <laughs> after school. More male students have stayed after school than usual. Huh? What should I do now? I'm gonna hang out here for a bit longer, but... I don't know what to do. I feel like there's anything for me to do at home anyway. Oh, I got it. I'll go up to the roof or something. <laughs> it's that guy gonna try and hook up with that girl right now. I'm, I'm gonna be behind school building. You know, just because. Okay, see you. Most of the girls are already gone. Hey, man, all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. If they want candy so much, why don't they just buy us some themselves? Oh, Kanji, how do you not know? Are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah? Man, you're clueless. Whatever. I know I'm getting some for sure today. I didn't bring you any. <laughs> I'm not that pathetic. Come on, man. I can get quite a lot from part-time workers at Juness. The important thing is that I have any at all. Right, Chie-san? Yukiko-san? I see you've got some big bags with you today. Wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. Yeah, I do have some. Right, Yukiko? Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. I like candy. What makes you think it's going to you? It might be for me. Don't be so desperate. And I brought some too. Oh, are you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing. Here you go, Chie Senpai, for always being so hardworking. Why me? Because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life, not just your romantic partner. Wow, putting a new spin on things. She's so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. We say hands out chocolate to each person. But there doesn't seem to be any left for you. Hey, what about him? I'll give him his chocolate later. I've got some stuff to take care of right now, but I'll call you soon. Does that mean... I feel like everyone's super curious about who I'm going to hand my special chocolate to. If I do it now, it'll be embarrassing. So, see you later. <laughs> Risei gives you a meaningful look. You must go see Risei later. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye. See you later. Wow, her ability to avoid personal drama is impressive. Oh, Natokun! What are you all doing together? What's that supposed to mean? Today's a huge deal. Ah, uh, I see. Well, if you'll excuse me. She never breaks a sweat. Oh well, Kanji. Guess we're spending time with each other today. Sure, why not? I totally 
really feel like we missed the train here. Attention, everyone! I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. Well, I I've got to go back to the inn and help out. Good luck, Chie. Yukiko? Man, Yukiko's being even bossier than normal. I'm gonna go make sure she's okay. Oh, this is chocolate for everyone in it. Take yours and go home. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell? Talk about being brushed off. Well, you don't want yours? I'll take it. God, you moron. Of course I want it. You must go see the people who want to talk to you. You came to the shore with Rise. The cool breeze feels nice. No one can bother us here. I've got you all to myself. <laughs> Just kidding. Here, this is for you. Sorry to keep you waiting. The package Rise hands you looks beautiful, but it's given up an odor that is anything but pleasant. You feel an impending sense of doom. I knew you'd notice how special it is. I added durian and habanero to it. Oh, oh god. Why? Anyone can just melt some chocolate and pour it into a mold. Where's the love in that? So I added a bit of originality. I'm certain you'll like it. Oh god. What's the matter? I'll take it home and eat it. It's, it's too pretty to eat. I don't know what to say. Oh, eat it now. I worked so hard on it. To see your happy face. I'm gonna die. Aren't you glad, Senpai? I'm gonna die before the end of the game. I'd rather save the best for last. Fine then. I forgive you. But you'll have to tell me what you think later. I'm not. You put the chocolate away. Luckily, the smell fades when you close the box. Thing I can hear is the sound of the waves. It's like we're all alone in the world. I'm going to tell you my dreams. I haven't told anyone else. I want to work and go to college. I think I could study lots of things. And during all that, I want to have a serious relationship with a man I love and get married on a tropical island and live in a house with a big yard and get a big dog. I'll cook and live happily with my husband. And then when we're old, we're going to drink tea every day by the garden. Together. Risa is a little embarrassed as she smiles. Just kidding. I'm such a weirdo. I think it's a great idea. Hey, don't jump to any conclusions. I didn't even say who I was talking about. Senpai, by a man I love, I meant you. Right now, it's just a dream. But it's important to me. So I want to make all my dreams come true, one by one, with you at my side. Good luck! <laughs> Let's do it together. Can't you say good luck to that? <laughs> you can't take that back. The only sound you hear is the crashing of the waves. Did you know, Senpai? People were born from the sea. I feel like we're Adam and Eve right now, just the two of us here. Oh boy. Eve was Adam's wife, so... That means Adam gets to have Eve all to himself. You spent a long time with Rise. Go to a residence, front door. You're late. No, you're late. <laughs> Sorry. Whatever. You don't have to apologize. It's not your fault. I have chocolate. You can have it. It's probably edible. No, never mind. Take it back. It smells. More importantly, it's moving. Doesn't have any eclectic loutwits. 
I did the best I could, but I don't know if it turned out any good. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. You're, you're too straightforward. I, I hate you, stupid. That's why you're so popular. You can eat it. If you don't hurry, it'll melt. If it melts, it'll run away. The hell does that mean? You have a feeling of danger, but you've already accepted a gift. When you eat it, um, I want you to tell me whether it was good or not. Now. He seems to have no choice but to eat it. Despite the smell, it tastes quite normal. No, this is. You can't stop eating it. You ate it all? That's incredible. Are you stupid? Well, it, it makes my work worth it. You have the unsettling feeling that somebody's moving within your stomach. Valentine's Day isn't an actual ritual. Huh. I looked it up. I thought it was some big event. You know, a turning point of your life. I'm so lame. I was fooled. I feel stupid. Ugh. But it's not like that. I, I didn't make that chocolate just because I thought it was something I was supposed to. No, that, that makes it sound like I'm serious. Uh, well, I am serious, but... And, and, and you can just shut your stupid jerk face! I don't. I'm telling the truth! Look, just close your eyes. Shut up and close them! Thank you. Well, I don't really get it, but I won't forget about you. Ever. Spend some time with Marie. Okay. Well, I don't have a romance for this. So that's kind of confusing. Dojima residence, living room. It seems Dojima is away on business and can't come home. Hey, Crow. Do you know what day it is today? Let's give you Big Bro Chocolate Day. It's Valentine's Day. Ding, ding, ding. You are correct. This is my favorite chocolate. At least you'll, you'll probably give me something normal. And I could give you some chocolate that is very popular with children. Thank you. It's sweet and yummy. Today, Tanaka! The teacher said Valentine's Day isn't just a day to give out chocolate. It's a day to say thank you to the people you care about. Teacher gave us all chocolate. Everybody, even me. And when she gave it to me, she said, it's been tough for you, but you've done very well. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. That's why I said thank you back. And I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me. And that's why I can be happy again. I'm proud of you. <laughs> really? And then my teacher was so happy. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? Yes. Me too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. I had one more chocolate. I made it myself. It's not a slime. A strange object sits on the plate. By some miracle, it has no smell at all. The big girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. That's why I made one for you. Oh, God. Just too tall how to cook. Your instincts honed after a year of battle are ringing warning bells in your mind. She said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. The fuck is iced coffee? Oh, and bacon. Since everyone likes bacon. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. Risei-chan said that the chocolate should assert itself. So it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. Oh, God. You're a grown-up, big bro. 
So I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste. So I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive. So I added vinegar and positive <laughs> sauce too. I love vinegar, but don't add it to this. Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. Fish and bacon and vinegar and spice. So I added some fish sausage and some of Dad's fermented squid. And Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. And when I told her I was already done, she told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for you. Naoto knows that that's not the case. <laughs> Naruto looks at you expectantly. Um, big bro, thank you. I love you. You have no options. It's... I'm dead. Big bro? What's wrong, big bro? You can hear Nanako's voice from far away. Finally, they got me. They got me! I'm dead. I am deceased. After getting some rest, you have managed to recover your health. Soft light is pouring in from outside. You should hurry to school. How the hell does this work now? Morning. Oh, Normican, morning. Good morning. The weather's great today. It's even a little warm, don't you think? Mm. I saw in the news that the first official spring storm was observed this morning. Spring is just around the corner, huh? Mm. Spring, huh? Everyone went by so fast. What's up? Hey everybody, what's going on? Mm. Oh, nothing. We're just talking about how spring's almost here. The Norman Kun will. Mm. Ah, yeah. I try not to think about it. Hey, but hey, we still have some time, right? No gloomy faces until then. Let's have fun. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pack your brain so full of good memories you'll beg us to stop. Oh, shoot. Well, let's go. What? Hey, wait for me. It's my Yakuza Free Orphanage photo. I'll keep that with me through many games. Oh wow. Here we go. Alright, I think I need to look up how to do this now. You have finished packing. You will be returning to the city in two days. You decide to rest for today, but I'll do it when I when I can save, and I think I can save soon. Spring has come once again. Spring has once again come to another. Dojima resident. Tomorrow is finally the day you will part with everyone. All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Can I go answer the door? Oh yeah, that's right. Sure, go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. I guess he had he had to hold off from doing Someone that for ages. So cheerful like that. Nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at nine o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. 
Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. This is the last day you'll be spending in this town. You should wander around for a while. Are you going out? Be careful. I think that's the Adachi letter. Right, let me go to here and save it. And then we'll start. I know I'll get a broom. And then we'll start. Uh, we'll start talking to everybody after that. I'll be back in a few. I'll be back in a few minutes.
All right, let's leave. We'll start with Okina City and just work our way down. Because obviously nobody's going to be at the beach, so there's no point in going there. The beach was only useful for one thing, pretty much, and that's the fox. She went somewhere far away, but she'll be backed. I believe it with all my heart. So in the meantime, I'll become a man worthy of a love. I got a new job from a connection I made while developing new products. I start work again in April. I guess I'll be saying goodbye to this place for a while. It's a little lonely. Met a lot of new people here. I'm very grateful for that. I was wrong. When I gave him some Valentine's chocolate, the whole village knew about it that same day. I'm so embarrassed and irritated. But the weird thing is, I kind of like it. He was a good sport about accepting it, which made the whole thing amazing. How's our movie coming along this time? I think it's pretty good. I don't know, but at least it's better than the last one. As long as we try everything. If we fail, we just have to pick ourselves back up. Right? Now what should we watch today as inspiration? A horror flick. A zombie movie. If we're watching a zombie movie, the limited run strawberry popcorn will be perfect. I saw a movie with those three the other day. I suggested we catch a zombie movie, and they liked it more than I thought. Hehe, <laughs> it's great to be able to share what I love with other people. Welcome to the Akina Station office. Peaceful today, isn't it? I've got my hands full these days taking in wounded kittens and covered in lost children. But it's okay, whatever it takes to keep the peace in this town. What a guy, he's fine. I like the way all these people are sorting out all their shit now. I've got a lot of new people coming in. Keeps me busy. Now I have to go to my next line. Hey kid, how are you? Good. That's great, it's the best thing. There is such a thing as too much energy. Everything in moderation. Can I go in here still, or is it done? Yeah. Okay, so I can't, I can't go into any of the stores, presumably. Is the school open? It's spring break, but the school is open to students today. Enter. Sure. I'm gonna actually leave all of the party members lot until last. Yo, transfer dude, what brings you here on your day off? Me? Heh, <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm just getting some stuff set up while I got the chance. Well, I've got the chance. So now it was in the school. Now it was in the school, I don't know why. You get the feeling that someone is in there. What room is this? Oh, it's Yumi! Yasagami High Drama Club. Yumi is here! Norman, come. I knew you'd come. Hee <laughs> hee. I came here today to turn something in and I felt this wave of nostalgia. We used to be in this club together. You're leaving tomorrow, right? I have something to tell you. I haven't really put my thoughts in order yet, but I want you to hear what I have to say. Because you're the one who changed how I think, Norman Kun. I'm thinking of joining the student council. I figured I should do something for my school. I want to take part in some local politics too. <laughs> the town is voting whether to keep the gas masks. I understand why people wouldn't want to see them ever again, but what happens if the fog comes back, you know? Oh, when I've started working at Junez, I'm a cashier at the food court. I'd like to try some more of the clubs at school too. To be honest, I'd like to go back to the drama club. I... I want to see and feel the world I live in, so I'm planning to try as many things as I can as long as the opportunities are there. I've been thinking about what I'm supposed to do in my life. That is, I want to find out what the significant meaning in my life is, why my parents created me. Though, if I do find that out, I can't be satisfied with that answer. I have to do something with that knowledge, do something for the people who live on after me. I believe the goal of my life is to pass things on to as many people as you can. It's not about inheriting blood or continuing your genetic line. It's more like passing on your memories. And since my father passed his down to me, I have to do the same for future generations. Maybe I should start off by getting a boyfriend. <laughs> I mean, I can't be with you since you're leaving. And anyway, you ran away when I asked you in the first place. I doubt I'll ever find anyone as good as you though, Norman Kuhn. I hope we can see each other again. Take care of yourself. The fact that I care about you so much won't change, no matter how far apart we are. We won't be alone. Bye. Yumi's eager smile cheers you up. You feel a close bond between yourself and Yumi. Alright, that's one. 
I think, well, the way how it worked last time was like you kept getting told. After a while, you start getting told who's remaining. You should have no reason to come here anymore. Okay, let me just keep going. Anybody in here? Okay. Anybody in here? Uh, okay. I'm going to check all the doors just in case because I didn't expect somebody to actually be in there. Nobody's in the practice building, so I assume Kanji's probably outside the textile place. Okay, the practice building's completely empty outside of Yumi. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, I can go in here. And I go, okay. That was unexpected. What? This, this is your seat? I, I just got it wrong. Stop looking at me. You don't expect me, do you? I'm not the one who put something in your shoe locker. It wasn't me. Okay. Something's in my shoe locker. That makes sense. Yeah, it probably seems like Yumi was the only one who was actually in a door, but I'll still check them all to be on the safe side. Risei is presumably outside of the tofu place. Kanji will be outside his textile place. Yosuke is probably at the end of the road. Chie's, Chie is outside the diner. I don't know where you. I can't remember where Yukiko stands. No teachers? I did all those requests. Anybody on the roof? Wow. Not even the meteorologist saying that she got a job or something. Uh, yeah, let's go deal with Naoto then because uh, Naoto is the only one who's actually in the building. It's crazy that there's nobody else in here though. Oh, I should check this. There's, there's nothing inside my shoe locker I've got lied to. Oh, Senpai, do you have business at school too? Oh, that's right. You're leaving tomorrow. Saying goodbye to your teachers? That's right. That's very kind of you. Well, then please excuse me. Can I come with you? Okay, so that's a bit more. <sighs> this town has become so peaceful. Oh. Well, not that I'm disappointed. It's just that, for me to remain here without you or a case to solve, I feel somewhat listless. I know this sounds awkward since we've already discussed it before and came to a satisfactory conclusion that the reason for me being here has nothing to do with the case. Perhaps it's just your departure that's making me lonely. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm making trouble for you. No, I should apologize. Please don't apologize. It's not your fault for moving home. I'm sure this is hardly the last time I'll face a situation such as this in my life. I remain here in Inaba, Senpai. Of course, from time to time my services will be required elsewhere. But Inaba is my hometown now. I want to treasure the precious time I've spent with you, solving the case together. The Midnight Channel, Personas, Ameno Sagari. My duty is to stay here and get to the bottom of these mysteries. To be honest, the thought of it makes me a bit lonely. Please don't forget your time here. You feel a solid bond between you and Naoto. I'll be at the station tomorrow with the others, so this is our last chance to talk, just the two of us. No, of course it won't be. I can go visit you anytime, and vice versa. Senpai, don't you have other farewells to say? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll see you tomorrow. You have not spoken to everyone yet. Alright, there we go, going to town. Now we'll do this, everybody in the shopping district. But what? I, I know how to ride a bus, enter at the front, then pay. What do you get on at the back? But what bus am I supposed to be riding? It's not the hospital one or the hot springs one. Mom said a bunch of buses come through here. Oh, so I've got to go to the Amagi Inn for Yukiko. Uh... uh... Let's go through all these. And we'll just slowly work our way across town. In Arbor Municipal Hospital, you overhear two nurses talking. 
Have you heard about Uehara-san? They seem to be talking about Sayoko. She joined some volunteer organization and went to Africa. Africa? I never thought she'd be the kind of person who would go there. Well, she seemed to be taking her new her jobs really seriously towards the end of her time here. She even studied during a break. Do you remember when we were talking about the rumors of the Midnight Channel? She wasn't interested at all. Oh, I remember those rumors. Not that I know where they started, but yeah, now that you mention it, Uihara-san was never around when we were chatting about them. She was studying some foreign language, wasn't she? She was trying to learn English and some African languages. She read a lot of medical books too. I see, but why Africa? Why she join a volunteer organization? What's the point? I'd rather marry a guy, raise kids and be an ordinary housewife. That's what I used to think too. But watching you hear Hara-san kind of made me feel different about it. She did seem to have a boyfriend though. A very young one too. Oh, it must have been that kid who was working here part time. I don't know the details, but he seemed to really mean something to her. She once told me that she was trying to do her best to live up to him. Do her best, eh? I feel I have to try harder too. Yeah. Excited to see where she was coming from. Let's get back to work and do our best. Gambare! Let's go. It seems like Sayoko is working hard in a foreign country. Even though Sayoko is gone, her life here has changed people for the better. You feel a close bond between Sayoko and yourself. You decide to go back to town. Alright, next. The hill overlooking town. Hill overlooking town. Hey, it's you, mister. Mr. Norman, what a coincidence. Yuta and I just randomly decided to come here today. Is this fate? Every smiles brightly. Let's play, mister. Hey, don't be selfish, Yuta. I want to talk to Mr. Norman, too. I'm going to talk with Eri. Is it a grown-up conversation? I'll go play over there, then. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> He's a little selfish, but he does actually care about the feelings of others. By the way, you know how the criminal behind those incidents got arrested? I was afraid because everything about the case was so mysterious, and that awful fog didn't help either. When I heard the culprit was arrested, the first thing that came to my mind was about Yuta. Yuta is safe now. I felt so relieved. I can now understand what it means by the life of a parent revolves around their child. I just want my kid to grow up to be a kind person. That's all I that's really all I ask of Yuta. Life is not only about yourself. There are always other people around you, so your life will affect their life. So I want you to become the type of person who can empathize with someone else, understand their situation. I believe that being kind to others will satisfy one's own heart. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. You changed my entire life. I never really thought about my life in the past. I thought I'd be okay if I could enjoy the moment. I'd just spend the rest of my life killing time. But now I see things differently. Having you two with me every day, laughing together over small things, I feel alive. <laughs> I'm glad I'm a mother. Every smiles brightly, you feel a close bond between Eri and yourself. I have to go now. I promised you two we'd make spaghetti and meatballs together tonight. Goodbye, Mr. Norman. I'm glad I met you. Amagi in. Mister, I just saw you got in the bus three times. The Amagi Inn. Welcome to, hmm? Norman Kun. That's right, you're leaving tomorrow. Thanks for coming to see me before you leave. I'm very happy. It means a lot to me. Your party member. I, I was thinking of spending today as just another day. Helping with the housework, taking a long back in, bath and going to sleep. So I can, I can say goodbye without crying. <laughs> but I failed miserably. I kept thinking about you, and on top of that, here you are right in front of me. You're not helping at all. You're so mean. That's it. I'm leaving town with you tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding. For now. You know, after I decided to stay here and become the manager, I realised how afraid I was. Whether I can meet all the responsibilities, whether I'll be able to support the whole staff on my own. I never thought of things like that. But I've made my decision. Now I have to make an honest attempt at it. I'll do my best to overcome the fear. And you'll be in my heart while I do, Norman Kun. We'll be together, even when we're apart. I promise I won't turn away from my problems and fears. I'm going to meet every challenge head on, no matter how hard it seems. Remember what Amino Sagari said? 
If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. That's not what I wish for. I'll face myself no matter what happens. Norman Cun, thank you. You'll forever be my precious friend. You feel a solid bond between you and Yukiko. Uh, well, I, I should get back to work. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright. Hey, Spacey Girl. Now, I'm waiting for him. Lately, we've been playing a lot. It's fun because I'm not alone. Yay. Margaret! Oh, hello. You have come. I was waiting for you. I wanted to see you before you left. Though parting words aren't what I have for you. Remember? The heart is shaken more by a, by a single action than by a thousand words. Do you know what action will shake both of our hearts? A goodbye kiss. <laughs> For us residents, I'm sure this is a sin. Now, now, close your eyes. Why, you ask? So that you don't witness my sinfulness. God damn. Mm. You feel a solid bond between you and Margaret, and probably a few other things as well. Why did I steal a kiss? Is that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief. <laughs> Will I ever see you again, I wonder? Well then, farewell. Igor! Surely Igor must be thinking at some point, why do I keep hiring people who then just somehow fall in love with the protagonist and go further than everybody else? Anyway, I hope Risei didn't see that. Oh, it's been a while, huh? So, have I, have I told you this? I've been taking walks with that Egyptian woman. She seems to know a lot and just being with her makes me happy somehow. It isn't very exciting, but it's not bad. Talking to her makes me like this town even more. I came to the country to escape, but maybe I really came to rediscover myself. <laughs> yeah, he's dating the Egyptian. Can I speak to Daidara? Oh, senpai. Where are you going? I came to see you. Senpai, no. That's like you came to say goodbye. I'm not planning on letting this be the last time we meet. It does make me sad, though. I told you before, right? I'm returning to showbiz starting spring. I went to voice training today to prepare myself for that. You see, I'm re-debuting myself with a new album. I'm writing all the lyrics myself. Well, I got a D in composition, so they aren't exactly masterpieces. But you know, a lot of stuff's happened while I was on a break. I made friends, dear friends. Everyone was so nice to me. I want to express that to everyone who will listen. My deepest feelings, in my own words. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared of putting the real me out there for people to see. But I can't give in to that fear, right? I'll work hard for all my fans out there. I'm going to make a huge comeback. So wish me luck. Of course. Thank you, Senpai. I know that you'll be watching me on the other side of the camera. I'll keep thinking that way as I work. You feel a close bond between yourself and Risei. I look back at Junez now and I feel all these good mem memories of us. Maybe I'll offer to appear in a commercial for Junez. Then you'll all remember the good times we've had every time we s you see it. But then, we'll all feel a bit lonely afterwards, huh? Senpai, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll say goodbye and I won't cry. I'm so glad that fog's gone. I mean, it's still foggy over in the other world, but it's a clear blue sky over here. We can see you off on a happy note. We'll see you later. Okay, I would've thought you would've taken me somewhere, but whatever. Oh, Sensei! What a coincidence meeting you here. What are you doing? Just saying, saying goodbye to people. Goodbye? What are you talking about? I'm leaving town tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow? That's so sudden. I have a baseball game tomorrow, but I want to see you off. She was panicking. You told you it's okay if you can't come. Oh, okay. Then can I tell you something I've always wanted to say? I made a friend. He's in the store right now buying ice cream. It's the guy who transferred here that I told you about before, right? He's a fun guy and he's nice. He spoke up for me when I got suspended for cheating. And thanks to him, I have other friends now. He teaches me about comics and video games. And in return, I help him study. Sometimes we do our homework together. I never thought that fun was something you could have every day. Instead of being afraid and running away, I should have just face it head on. Sensei, thank you very much. Um, your tutoring was great. 
I really learned a lot. Shu smiles like the happiest kid in the world. He felt very close to you. I'm going to hit a home run tomorrow. It'll go so far, it'll reach your train. Please, don't forget about me, even if you're far away. I'll remember you too. I'm glad you came to this town. It must have been scary for you, though, with those murders. Those only happened when you, while you were here, huh? <laughs> you must have bad luck. Sensei, man, thank you. There are others who share a close bond and you should say goodbye to them. <coughs> I should, let's keep going. She isn't here yet. She told me to wait here for her. What? What? It's not any business. I just want to see her and hang out together with her. Is that bad? Ah, welcome. Going somewhere? Please feel free to buy one of our signature dishes to take with you. You're leaving, aren't you? Leaving me behind. Stupid liar, blockhead. I didn't even want you to save me, and you did, and now you're doing this? I'm going to be lonely. Sorry. Don't apologize. I know already. Hey, I went out and got something to eat by myself. Those steak thingies, skewers, whatever they're called. I can, I can walk around town even without your help. The bond between us has connected me to this world. It's kind of lonely, but I'm going to explore the town without you. I'm not scared anymore. If I don't take any steps forward, I won't learn anything. I'm going to find out more and more about this outside world. And next time you'll come, I'll be showing you around. Marie is acting proud. You feel a tight bond between you and Marie. You're going to say goodbye to everyone else, right? You're always like that. I'll see you again. Thank you. There are others who share a close bond with you. You say goodbye to them too. Okay, so yeah, Kanji's next. Oh, Yosuke's in June there. The same, probably the same with Teddy. Oh, no resolution on the kid story? Fine. I'm trying to beat the Kanji! Whoa, Senpai, wh what are you doing here? Kanji seems to be panicking for no reason. Will you talk to him? Talk to him. Oh, hello, Norman Kun. I heard you're leaving tomorrow. You know, Kanji's been acting all sad and lonely lately. Sh shut up, you old bird! I told you not to speak to me that way. Anyway, have you told him about the handicraft classes? Thank you for being such a role model for my son, Norman Kun. Come visit here sometime, alright? Goodbye now. You, you didn't hear what she said, did you? Handicraft class? Uh. See, uh, a bunch of customers liked those knitted dolls we sold, and they asked me how to make them. So, so I'm gonna hold classes on how to do it. <laughs> Laugh it up, why don't you? Senpai. It was my decision, though. If people want to learn, and if I can teach them, hell, why not, you know? I'm still kind of embarrassed, though. But, uh, it kind of feels good to do something for other people. <laughs> It's only because of you that I could face up to who I am, Senpai. Thank you very much. Kanji has a refreshing smile on his face. You feel a solid bond between you and Kanji. Uh, are you going to say goodbye to the others later? Well, it ain't like this is the last time we'll see each other. Our friendship ain't just on the surface. Funny how we got the murder case to thank for that. We'll put an end, we put an end to that stuff, right? I doubt she's in the slammer, and the fog is all cleared up. It's all thanks to you, Senpai. Yo, Senpai! When you go, don't turn you back around, okay? See ya. Oh, right, of course, the fox. I did nearly leave. Let's go speak to the fox. Tatsuhime Shrine. Ooh, one of my friends just had a kid. The shrine seems to be prospering as some objects are shimmering with a golden sheen. You don't see the fox, perhaps it left. Hmm? What's a young man like you doing in an old place like this? This place was bustling with visitors not too long ago, but these days, you see less and less. 
I heard the town was considering tearing the place down because someone stole money from the offertory box. Also heard some fox had taken up a home here, and they were gonna haul it off to an animal shelter. Too many rumors these days. Remember that one about how the fog was making everyone sick? Or another one, what was it called? Midnight Radio? That was popular with the kids alright. My grandson and his friends were all into it. Funny, I remember something kind of like that happening when I was a kid too. What who starts these rumors? Oops, I almost forgot. I, I was supposed to pick up some juice for my grandson. You wonder if the fox was taken to an animal shelter, as that old man said. You decide to leave the shrine. You feel a presence watching you. Hey! It's the fox and its children. The fox family seems to be welcoming you. They look like they're doing fine. The fox's happiness reminds you of the close bond you share with it. Oh, they're in Aya. This is good. It's good that it's now actively pointing me to where the remaining people are. It's very nice. You hear, you hear Daisuke and Ko's voice coming from inside the restaurant. Paul is coming from inside the house. Wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. We were just talking about you. You should chill with us for a little. Well... You see, we started talking about whether or not all the crazy stuff that happened here was really over, and we were consoling each other about you leaving tomorrow. You, why are you gonna blurt out that stuff? That's embarrassing, man. To be honest, though, I did want to see you one last time, but I figured you'd be too busy. The next time, the next thing I know, you walk right in. It's like, man, I, I was being fourth of a nothing. You shared a joyful moment with Cohen Dice, okay? Oh yeah, at this rate, our team might actually have a shot at the summer tournament. For real? You're talking about the Nationals, right? If we keep our pace up until then, that is. That's a, still a huge improvement. <laughs> Probably thanks to all that harsh training of yours. The first years were all whining about it. Yeah, they don't take it seriously. But seeing them slack off like that, I now understand why Ko got mad at me. I mean, I can clearly tell when some someone's not being serious and it pisses me off a lot. <laughs> See? Trying hard is tough, but I don't know. I get more fun out of it than when I used to slack off. Of course, it would be even better if Norman was sticking around. Oh well, nothing we could do about that. Time to suck it up. Norman, I'll go over to your place sometime, so you better come back here and visit us too. <laughs> Enough of this sad crap. Let's be how we normally are and send him off with a smile. So Norman, call me if you find a cute girl that's available, okay? Huh? I thought you liked Chie. Ah, shut up. Enough said. Speaking of which, what happened to that promise of yours? You're the one who said we'll have another group date. You mean you were serious? <laughs> of course. Then I got one thing to say. Stop wearing the same damn training clothes. Norman, think you can give Daisuke a nice shirt and some pants as a farewell present? What? Hey, I got more clothes than this, you know? Huh? Yeah, I bet they're all sportswear. You can't deny it. You better come visit, Norman. I can't handle the dating scene with Daisuke alone. The three of us should have a big old group date sometime soon. You feel a close bond between Daisuke, Ko, Ko and yourself. Well, I'm sure you've got more goodbyes to say. We can see you tomorrow anyway. Yeah, don't waste your time on us, man. Especially even if we're separated. We'll always be friends. Why do you always get to say the good part? I wonder if that's always the same. It's gonna be Robert to Hisano. Oh, right, yeah. Right, now it's directing me to the floodplains. I feel like Risei's final event was just uh, not really anything. We didn't even get a special scene, it just kind of happened. I don't know whether I simply picked the wrong option or something. I'll deal with Juna's last because I think that's what that's what I've got to do for one of the parts. Because I've got to bring I think I've got to bring everybody together there. My, Norman Chan. My, my, what a coincidence. We really are connected by fate. Shall we talk like old times? Sure. Goodness, I am so happy. Yeah, I'm really curious about the Risei one now. I just went to my visit my husband's grave. Then I came to look at the river like I did last time. <laughs> Next thing I know, here you are. There's a surprise. That's a surprise. It's the right way of saying it. I live with one of my kids and my grandchild now. 
They're all so kind. I just realised that I almost never talked about my kids with you. I probably distanced myself from the rest of my family. I was afraid that if I didn't, I was going to depend on them. They're living their own lives. I didn't want to be a burden on them. So I wanted them to forget about me, to treat me as if I was dead. But they welcomed me, and now we live together. They take care of me, but I'm taking care of my grandson. So there's a little bit of give and take there. There really is a place in the world where I belong. I just assumed that there wasn't one. They're my children, my family. I regret that I didn't talk with them before. My husband's death must have been sad for them too. After all, they lost their father. Are you happy now? Yes. Very much so. I'm so happy right now, but because of that, I feel sad every now and then. I can't help but think he must have wanted to feel this happiness too. So I've decided that the best thing I can do is live a long, happy life. I'll make the rest of my life as great as it can be, and then I'll tell my husband about it when I see him again. Then we'll have all of eternity to be happy together. I'm not afraid anymore, just a little lonely. I'll also have to tell him everything that happened in town too, about this whole crazy year, those awful murders, and how the police solved the case. I'll definitely have to tell him all about you too. I recently realized something. Precious things remain precious whether you're alive or dead. Sorry for making you listen to all my long-winded monologue. You look like you still have things left to do. You look like you've grown up a lot, Norman Chan. You're much more handsome now too. Not as handsome as my husband was though. I'll well, see you again. Well then, take care of yourself. You still have a lot of life ahead of you. You feel a close bond between Hasano and yourself. It's not a lot about looking back. Well, they're at Juna's. They're at the Juna's food court. Oh, wow, nobody's on the floodplain. Anybody outside my house? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Hey, can I talk to you for a moment? My mother-in-law. She finally ate my cooking! It was worth staying at home all winter and putting in the effort. I'll keep at it. Hey, a resolution to that story. I guess the kid, the shrine kid story got resolved by them just dropping him like a sack of shit. <laughs> you know, he doesn't, he just didn't, I'll never go with that. He just didn't deserve it. I guess I'll go to the food court. Yo! Yo, Norman! Sensei! I'm super duper happy that you came to see me! Going around saying goodbye, huh? What do you think of this sleepy, peaceful version of an other? It must seem real weird to you. <laughs> I wonder why it began just as you arrived here. I remember the first time, I remember that first time, Sensei and Yosuke breaking the TV world alone. Boy, I feel so nostalgic. Yeah, ever since then, it's just one surprise after another. Hmm. I can't imagine how it's going to be like living here without you. A quiet, peaceful town with no need to use our personas anymore. I can't imagine it either. That's right. We were right in the middle of the case when you came over to this side. A lot of stuff's happened. Facing my true self, and you and me got into a fight too. Yosuke, did you smack Sensei? Ooh, how reckless! Of course, moron. Best friends gotta fight sometimes to be best friends. Why did you two say so earlier? Sensei, bring it on, let's fight! Don't hurt him, man. He's gotta get on that train tomorrow. Sensei, you're really leaving, huh? I'm glad I met you and Yosuke. You two completely changed my life. And Nana-chan, Yuki-chan, and the others too. They all helped me. They gave life to me. Life? Come on, man. You were the one who wanted to change. That's why you tried so hard to make it happen. Thank you so much, Sensei and Yosuke. I love you. Love is kind of strong. I'll take off my outfit if you want. Let's not. You feel a solid bond between you, Yosuke, and Teddy. By the way, is it okay for you to chill here? Don't you have somewhere to go, like meeting someone? Do you want Teddy to come with you? 
No, I think Teddy has to work. Yep, Dojimas. I'm guessing it's the Dojimas, and then maybe my dude starts. Maybe my, I think I've got to say there's a point where my dude goes, "Should I leave?" And then I gotta say no. Still, I find it really weird that we say just the spokes were on the street instead of being taken somewhere. Ah. Hey Norman, how are the goodbyes coming along? Did you see all your friends? Most of them. I see. Did they all cry? Let me see your face. Hmm. You look a lot more mature now. We've only been together for about a year, but kids grow up surprisingly fast. Nanako, do you remember what we promised? Take care of yourself, big bro. Don't get sick. You too, Nanako. Yep. Don't look so sad, Nanako. We're all family, remember? It doesn't matter if we're apart. We can go see him when I get a vacation. Then we can talk about everything that's happened since we last saw each other, right? Mm, yeah. Big bro. Will you remember me? Of course. It's a promise. Ugh, come on, don't cry. I'm not crying. Oh well. I guess all kids end up being pushed around by their parents. Same goes for you, Norman. Norman, it wasn't all that long. All things considered, but I did enjoy your time here with us. I really do think of you as a part of my family. I'm surprised my sister's kid would turn out to be such an upstanding young man. <laughs> Give Nanako a call sometime when you have a spare moment. And you're welcome to come visit us anytime. I'll leave a room just like it is. This is your second home, you know. You feel a solid bond between Dogeman, Nanako, and yourself. When I grow up, I want to marry you, big bro. <laughs> you're a stud, Norman. Sure, Nanako, if he's still available by the time you're an adult. But that will be a long time, won't it, Norman? Right? Dogeman smiles, but he's looking straight into your eyes and doesn't seem to be joking. By the way, have you said goodbye to everyone yet? You still have a lot of time today. Why don't you go around in Arbor and see everyone who will miss you? Besides, I don't think you've really had the whole peaceful small town experience while you were here. Now that I think about it, that case began shortly after you arrived, and it finally ended a few months ago. Basically, it all happened while you were here in an Arbor. I guess it was a quirk of fate. Anyway, you should get going. We'll be going home soon. You've said goodbye to all the people you have formed close bonds with. You should return to your house and prepare for tomorrow. No. I think this is where I say no. I think this is the point where I've got to go to Junez. I think I've got to bring the team back together again. Might as well stop by the food court one last time. Enter? Yes. The usual food court. This is where you had spent so many afternoons going over the case with everyone. Just sitting here brings back a lot of memories. Oh, the whole... Teddy's on the what a coincidence! It must be destiny! There we go. Oh, so you guys came here too! Oh, there's some kind of weird intuition thing where we all come to the same place to solve it's the our case. very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow, but I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! Will you shut up about your steaks?
You reminisced with the others. I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun and games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever. But at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this. Or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh, I wonder how it started then. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Didn't that Amino something monster say it granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability, so that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? There must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? Hmm. You're the only exception. You had the power to enter TVs before your persona awakened, and the same goes for Adachi and Namatame. You remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were about to leave? A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. The sender is listed as Adachi. Huh? This is from jail? It's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town, before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But, I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. There's still more. When I'm here, I think of Dojima-san, Nanako-chan, and you. A lot. Though my time with you didn't seem like much fun before, it's strange. Adachi's well-organized words unfold on a piece of stationary paper. Despite it all, I'm grateful to you. Thank you. But let me just say this. You're a dumbass. <laughs> you take the path you choose, and I'll think about what that means to me too. I doubt I'll ever see you again, but stay healthy. Goodbye. The letter ends there. You obtained Adachi's letter. You feel a definite bond between you and Adachi. And that's the final max rank we're getting this game. Toru Adachi. Vow our tie, and I am Vow. Vow has established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. You, we bestow upon V the ability to create Magatsu Izanagi, the ultimate form of the Hunger Arcana. 
The Tori Wadachi Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Tori Wadachi Social Link. You, your power to create persons of the Hunger Arcana has reached its maximum. Normal misunderstood has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the Hunger Social Link, you can now fuse Magatsu Izanagi, the Tempter of the Void. Still, though, the things he wrote Nora at you. Who did we learn about the Midnight Channel from? Hmm. It's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world. The Midnight Channel. The ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head! Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? The power to enter TVs where everything about this case died. You learned about the Midnight Channel from Chie a few days after coming to this town when she told you the rumour. But Adachi and Namatami heard about the Midnight Channel from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, you feel as if something happened to you as well upon your arrival here. There is something. We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme. Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us. The culprits. And maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning, so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Okay. Who could have given you the initial spark for this power? The one you met immediately after coming to town was... Nanako. In any case, you need to see them and confirm the truth. Leave Juness, yes. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Those men and Nanako are not home. They're not home. They're going to be at the earth. They're presumably at the floodplain. Norman? Did you already meet all your friends? I want to talk to you. Hmm? What's this all of a sudden? You asked Dojima about the first day you arrived in town. The day you first came to town? Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> Now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh. Lots happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, Big Bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? The gas station. I used the bathroom there. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. The weird attendant. Yeah, when I first met you, I remember the gas attendant because he was weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before we went home, huh? 
Uh, yeah, I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah, come to think of it, I, I never saw that guy again. Mm, it wasn't really that the attendant looked weird, but after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. I looked sick? Don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. Are you carsick? You said you were okay, but that attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Well, I don't know about that. But honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? It might be important. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. Wait for me. Okay. The first place you stopped when you came to town was the gas station. Maybe something there will jog your memory. I will leave the floodplain. That is Junez. Bam, bam, bam. We're building to the end of the game here. The gas station attendant? I've only seen an older man and an older woman working there. Thank you, spacey girl. Uh, do we just need to, I guess we just need to ask around. Huh? What's up? Are you behind all this? Behind all this? What do you mean? Did you give me the power? Yeah. I guess the gas station, the semi, the gas station, the attendants just kind of stood around somewhere. Maybe at the shrine? Nope. Maybe I just need to talk to everybody. Ah, something wrong. Are you behind those band or what? Are you reenacting a scene from a movie? Did you give me the power? Hey, enough's enough. Even someone like me has their limits, you know? She doesn't seem to know anything. Uh, when I first met you, wasn't it right here? Even before that? I don't know. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? There's one last thing. Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then. Let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> wow, that's a lot. Ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Obtained Orb of Sight. Hey. I remembered something about myself. I was born a long, long time ago. I was... the unconscious wish shared by people's minds to protect the world of man, walk the path of man, fulfill the wish of the world. 
that was my role. But people changed. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. The desires of man had no bounds, and one day, my other half became its own existence, much larger than myself. I was left behind with no power or memories. I became a tiny fragment, incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so. Kusumi no Okami. The rest, you already know. Without my powers, I became a tool, manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? The cause of it all. The one who created the Midnight Channel and gave you the power to enter the TV. The real Puppet Master, who tried to fill both worlds with fog, using me and the Sagiri. If you don't defeat her, the world will never be truly clear of that fog. Go. Follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous. It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end. One beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began. It began raining. Oh boy. Now, now we're in the end game. Hey, what a coincidence. Can I leave? I just wanted to know if I could leave. <laughs> Alright. Let's let's do this. Hi there. Do you need something? Isn't this where I first first? What are you talking about? Oh, is this about the part time job? I'm sorry, we don't have an opening yet. Do you know Namatani? Ah, the serial murder suspect. A real tragedy, wasn't it? But the case was solved, right? Thank goodness. Have you met those two? Well, that's a weird question to ask. I don't know if it was right here, but I might have met them before. I've been in this town for a long time, so yeah, there's a good chance. But it's not like I knew them personally. If you've got nothing else, would you mind leaving me alone? Oh, you still need something? <laughs> hey, I asked you to leave me alone. Did you miss that? Did you do anything to them? Huh? To those two? Ah, that's right. I remember now. I think I met them when they first came to town. So I greeted them saying, Welcome to Inaba. But that's all. Just that. <laughs> what about it? What did you do to me? What did I do? <laughs> Don't you remember? I met you here when you first came to town and did the same thing as what I did to those two. I greeted you, that's all. Remember? We talked for a couple minutes. Hey, mind if I ask you something? Why all these questions? Is there something that's bothering you about the time when we first met? Did you give me the power? Hmm. <laughs> Amazing. You've reached me at last. Uh, let's drop this charade. To be quite honest, I was waiting for you to come. Adachi, Namatame, and you. It is I who awakened that power within you three, the ones who had potential. But having said that, I am rather surprised. You really are troublesome. Not only did you defeat the two Sagiri I snuck into Adachi and Namatame, but you even saved that stunted dwarf of a life. Are you talking about Marie? <laughs> it's such a foolish thing. What good is saving her life? She is but rubbish. Suitable only for getting rid of that pointless fog. 
Hmm? <laughs> Don't tell me she was still carrying that around. Oh, excuse me. I was talking about that bamboo comb you have on you. Why do you laugh? <laughs> I apologize, but the appropriateness was just so amusing. The comb is a symbol of the separation we went through. You remember that Kanji's mother mentioned that when you visited Tatsumi Textiles with Marie. It's an old belief that combs have the power to cause separation. How foolish. That comb was a curse. And to think she treasured it all this time. She must have been desperate for something to cling to. There's a limit to how irresponsible you can get. I will not forgive you. Hmm. And what are you going to do about it? The last battle wasn't enough for you. You certainly have the powers I was expecting. Why did you choose for me? your special potential, of course. Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. Indeed, I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like this. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. You felt an extreme dizziness. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog, and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? To learn the truth. What will grasping the truth do for you? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. I am Izunami. Amino Segiri, ruler of the fog, is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. You defeated the two Sigiri and the one fragment born from me. And now here you stand, face to face with me. I can no longer ignore this situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But in return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. The one you just encountered was the entity behind everything. Her name is Izanami. You can hear your friend's voices in the distance. Hey, are you alright? Who was that you were just talking to? Did she just disappear? Wait, don't tell me. You told your gathered friends what happened between you and the gas station attendant. So, it wasn't over after all. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor? And she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Oh, okay. The others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Yeah, will ya? Tell them this is really gonna close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. All right, then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness.
You have finally discovered the true cause of everything that happened. You must defeat this Izanami who waits for you in that other world. If Izanami truly gave birth to Amino Sagari, then as long as Izanami is left alone, the town will definitely fall into the fog again someday. And if that were to happen, everyone, all those precious to you, would become mere shadows. This is the most important task you have faced and it must be taken care of before leaving town. You must ensure complete peace for this town, where you've lived with everyone. Let me uh, just run and double check and see if anybody's got anything extra to say, but I would assume... I'm assuming everybody's actually vanished. Because there's no way you can fish. Or... <laughs> Imagine if you just fished instead and <laughs> time past time. Going to town. Yeah, I assume there's literally nothing to do outside of her uh, going into the place and maybe fusing some dudes. Hey! Uh, it started raining again. I don't have an umbrella! Dang it. It started to rain. I wonder if she's okay. Ah, it's really coming down. I hope I could remember an umbrella. Oh, I guess the, uh, the kind guy had a kid the entire time. Who knew? It's not way in Okina City. Absolute banger track alert from there. Alright, alright. Let me, uh... Sorry, look, Christmas related stuff. Alright then, we need to, uh, let's get ourselves into the final dungeon. Alright, this is finally it. So many things have happened up until now, but now we'll beat this Izanami and put an end to this, right? Yes, but since we were spread out all over town until a moment ago, let's go over what happened. It's the last measure that must be taken. We need to make sure that we end this properly. What do you ask about? Izanami. We thought Amino Sagri was behind everything, but it turns out that there was something behind it too. And that something was a guy at the gas station? I can't believe she was disguised as a gas station attendant smack in the middle of town. Does that mean she knew Norman and Dojima Sam would stop by there on the day he came to Inada? I guess it is the best place to greet people from out of town, but... Then she did come into contact with Adachi and Namatami also, at a different place and disguised as someone else. Who the hell is this Izanami? Izanami and Amino Sagiri. Those names would be familiar to students of ancient Japanese mythology. Huh? You're saying she's a god? <laughs> like that's possible. That reminds me, remember the persona that Adachi summoned? I don't know how to put it, but I thought it was kind of like the persona that Norman first called. Izanagi, wasn't it? Izanagi is also the name of a god in the same legends. Since both of them awakened with the same push from the same individual, their power may have been similar. A persona is one's heart given form. The images of gods and mythical beings were created by humans, so if the personas resemble them, there may be a connection there, since the enemy reigning over the, that world calls itself Izanami. Oh yeah, we were taught that Izanagi and Izanami's names originated from the word Izanao, meaning to invite. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about this, but Namatami-san, Detective Adachi, Norman-kun, and even us, were we invited to play our parts in this case, as if there was some deeper meaning behind this all? Deeper meaning? I don't really get it. 
But if she's trying to mess up everything up, I can't let that happen. We gotta defeat her. The push I got. By facing our own shadows on that side, we awaken to our persona abilities. However, that did not apply to Norman Senpai. Yeah, even before all this persona stuff, Norman could stick his hand into a TV. I guess that sort of backs his Anami's claim that she personally awakened his power. The same holds true for Namatami and Adachi. She selected three outsiders to bestow powers upon, and watched what would transpire from there. Well, now that we know all this, we just gotta beat the hell out of his, his Anami. Let's hurry and get this over with. Norman's going back home tomorrow. The Midnight Channel. The rumors about the Midnight Channel. It may be that this Izanami was the one who originally spread them. Neither Amino Sagari nor had the shadows had taken a single step outside the other world. Simply put, the only one who could have spread the rumor was someone who had come from there. The more it got passed around, the more extra junk got added to it. Like one big game of telephone. That's where all the you have to watch it alone and the one who appears is your soulmate stuff came from. Since it took place on a TV, we never considered the possibility that the images broadcasted on the Midnight Channel could vary from viewer to viewer. But whenever we talked about what we saw afterwards, there were never any inconsistencies. What changed according to each person was most likely the image's clarity. Yeah, I can think of a few places where that might have happened. When Saki Senpai appeared, I was the one who first who I was the first one who was positive it was her. For Yukiko it was Chie, and for Kanji it was Yukiko that said that who was on the TV was. I thought because each of us had a strong attachment to the victims, we linked the TV image to them in our head. I bet we were actually we actually saw a clearer image on the TV than everyone else. The same could probably be said of Namatami. That's why he was always a step ahead of us. I thought it was because he knew the area well as a delivery man, but I was stymied at how fast he could identify Nanako-chan. Since he was a savior, he must have seen Nanako-chan's image from the very beginning. Alright, but who cares about the details? Norman Senpai is leaving tomorrow, right? Should, should we really be wasting our time like this? Yeah, he's right. Let's hurry and defeat this Izanami. Alright, let's go. It's a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced, and it seems like a new area has formed. I bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. That reminds me. That Amino something we beat said stuff like, We'll meet again. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Damn straight. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Let's do our best like always, leader. It is kind of sad that this really is going to be the last time we do something like this. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. That's because we all strove together toward a common goal. There were many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives, there were many occasions where we nearly gave up. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way, but we didn't. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so much. That's why we're all here together. Right. All for one and one for all! So long as someone's got your back, you can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. This is for our future. So we can see him off tomorrow with no regrets. Ew. Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. But he's so pathetic, it makes my skin crawl. Probably just fleas on your ratty old suit. I spilled juice on you earlier. No wonder I smell of orangey freshness. Well then, let's do this! Thanks, man. So this will be the last time I help you catch the bad guy. Sensei, good luck! Huh? The fox is holding something. With a kung fu costume? What if he wants to give it to us? You like stuff like this, don't you, Chie? Why don't you wear it? I'm sure it'll look good on you. Oh, sure. It's not... It's not what I'd usually wear, but... Hey, this is actually pretty cool, huh? They don't sell these, and I've never had the chance to wear something like this. I've always wanted to try it. Thanks, Foxy! Hey, what about me? Do you have anything for me? Nothing? Ah. Shame that it's a Chie costume, though at the same time. Can I actually still go everywhere? 
Wow, I can. There's no reason to, but I can. Uh, I'm gonna get one more brew, see somebody else, and I'll be back in a few minutes.
All right. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Makes sense, though. All right, we've got all of our weapons again, which is nice. Okay, yeah, so I can visit the shops. <laughs> I do not have money. <laughs> I have no cash. Alright. Don't worry, if anyone can do it, it's us. Search for Izanami. Okay, let's go, everyone. Did I save it? I'm gonna be on the safe side. I don't think I saved it. I'm just just gonna just gonna be on the safe side. Okay, I did. Cool. I think we can be uh Uh I need a team though. Okay, good luck! What is this place? It doesn't feel like anything like the other areas. Whenever we'd go into to rescue someone, I could sense their restless heart and how unstable it felt. But there's none of that here. Does this Izanami person not have a heart or something? Who is she? Anyways, be careful, senpai. Ice, nothing. No, ice and wind. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, ice. It's just ice. Um... I don't think we've got both. Maybe if I merge some of these, I could probably make something that has both. Um, but I'll do ice. Oh wait, no, this guy. Oh god, I'm in the dojo room. <laughs> I need to swap that. That's a cool outfit, though. Uh, I have a billion chess keys, so let's just get money in case I want to buy armor. Let's go. That's a sick outfit, though, the hard boiled one. We got physical, but nothing. Okay. As dodge physical. No weaknesses. Let's use fire. Oh yeah, shit, I could probably get a lot of good armor just from these guys. Use a robe. The hell is that? Girls only, maybe. A hundred health, and the evasion's really high. There's no reason not to use it. Oh, 
homunculus. I'll lose that in a random fight. Something will just hit me with come on, and that's it. That's the homunculus gone. This is a really cool area. A healthy Homer. I think about that before. Yeah, it's not the first time. Some of the accessories are actually pretty neat. It's just that I prefer the ones I've got. Oh, Reaper's here. Do you all want to fight the Reaper? Just to mix things up. I wonder if I can beat him at this point. Ice and fire. Well, I'll start with ice, because I've got it here. Did he drink? That is fucking good. Uh, give me more money. Again, if I'm buying, if I might, if I might end up buying armor or stuff, I want to have money for it. Stairs. Don't care about that just yet. Red guys, let's go. I think these dudes are too low a level for me anyway because the enemies aren't big, they're small. Don't use light. Okay, that's fine. I will use sir. I'll oh, get rid of you. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't uh, merge some personas. God, stop missing! Teddy, help me! It's still alive! Money, please. Oh, it's just an empty room. Look at that. Oh, I don't want to touch that chest. As tempting as it is to actually fight the Reaper at this point, just to see whether or not I can beat him. I'm not leveling in this game. I'm not. I'm not touching that. Oh my god, he respawned. Looks like that one's immune to wind. 
All right, physical lightning. So lightning, ice. I can get. I can do this all by myself again. Deathbound. Thank you, Teddy. Money up. I can't believe you came without cowering in fear. Is that bravery or ignorance? Very well. I'll be waiting for you at the end of the Yomotsu Hirasaka. Was that Izanami? Let's not freak out. Come on, senpai. Okay, I prefer that. Careful, it's Ice, physical, nothing. I'll just use wind then. Didn't even do anything. Very annoying. You've got the weakest weapon, so you do not have the weakest weapon anymore. Let's just get rid of these guys. That was annoying. No reason not to. Uh, not there. It's funny how I bought all those Goho M's and just didn't I end up just not using them. I probably will use one though for this dungeon before I fight the final fight. Nah, no point in fighting a shadow that's just in the room by itself. If there was a chest in there, I would have gone for it. Oh, All right, what are you weak to? Fire! Then that's what I'll start with. I need this gamer. So I only ever use two personas now. I'm just going to do that again. Easy peasy. I don't trust... I really... It's kind of weird. I don't trust skill level up. Because, for instance, I don't want to have a severe thing because it would cost more SP. Just little things. If I could control what skill was getting leveled up, then maybe, but... Oh, they have no weaknesses, okay. Enemies left. Don't get up. 
I mean, this was the red enemies, and I killed them very quickly. I'll just take that. It's as if the fight never happened. This is really cool. I quite enjoy this place. Right, there's the stairs. We don't want them yet. We'll just keep looking around. Alright, what are you weak to? It's weak to fire. <laughs> this will be fire, nothing. Physical. Uh let's start with fire then. Thank you, no. Oh. Four enemies left. Don't give up. Count on you. Persona. Keep it up, Yosuke Senpai. Two defeated. There. Don't miss. You hit its weakness, Yukiko Senpai. Who do I want to get rid of? <laughs> Come on down. I wasn't expecting that from you, Kanji. Okay, yeah, there we go. That, that makes more sense because this thing is busy, so we can just beat the shit out of it. All right. oh, did I level up? You did. Soul drop. Also, yeah, these these random items are good. SP healing items are good. Meat good. These enemies are really sticking around boxes, though. Oh, one again. Let's go. Alright, let's head back. This seems this seems to be a really easy dungeon. Probably because I'm really I'm pretty uh I'm in my I'm in my eighties at this point, so I'm sure there's some enemies that are gonna be tough. But they might be on the little higher floors. Hmm. So have you come to realize the scenery of this corridor? You've seen it before, haven't you? Yes, I remember. What you saw in your dream that night was the result of your awakening to your power. Could it be fate that I now await your arrival? <laughs> was that Izanami again? Senpai, is it true what she just said? Anyways, no matter what kind of enemy we're facing, we have to fight. Right, Senpai? No, it's just an enemy in the room. I'm not doing that. Again, if there were a chest in there. Hold up! I forgot. Ice! Oh, it drains fire. So start with fire. So start with fire. Then ice. And that should get rid of everybody. So start with fire. Okay, that's fine. Alright, now ice. Yo, yo! <laughs> you ready for this? Yo, yo! Kanji defeated two enemies. Go team! Counting on you! Persona! That's some thick skin! Let me up. Okay. Yukiko Senpai, you can do this. Yes, I can. 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 Yes, I can.
That dude can go, actually, the, uh, the robot guy. He was very good, but, uh... Be careful, Senpai. I sent someone up ahead of you. Uh, not yet. Let me go this way first. Alright, what we got? <sighs> oh, God. Fire. Lightning. Okay, fire and lightning. Uh, uh, and you don't have either. Oh, it's because I get it. Ice and, ice and wind. Fire and lightning. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. That's why I'm, that's why I'm only using these two personas, because these two personas can do everything. Alright, let's start with... I gotta start with lightning. Okay. Oh, these guys have a lot of health. Let me use Vorpal Blade. Okay, so they're, they're very weak to, uh... Wow. What a gamer. What an absolute shot. Get out of here. Truly the king of kings. Give me that. Oh, of course. Be careful. There's an enemy immune to light. Counting on you. Persona. Someone else. No, oh, you. Good, I need to start with fire. Oh, I'm no physical! Haha! <laughs> Fuck you. Haha! <laughs> oh, I know I resist physical. More experience, keep it coming. It's crazy, it honestly just doesn't feel as if I lose SP anymore. Uh that's just a dead end, so I'm not I'm not bothering. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh boy. The power that you have attained, and your determination to face me. Let's see how strong they are. Uh -oh. Alright, let's go through all of our magics. Someone else is that did a thousand damage. Uh -huh. needs help. Too slow. Oh, yeah, nice fuck you. Enough. He's very quick though. He's got he's attacking a lot and he's pretty strong. But wind did a lot. Yukiko will heal herself, she's fine. How do you feel about fire? Because Yukiko's gonna be healing. Okay, that's cool, but I feel as if that was a waste. One enemy to go. Keep it up. Persona. I'm gonna use Kanji's uh, uh, increase attack rather than trying to hit it myself, and then we'll probably kill it in the next two hits. Oh, we already had it. Never mind. Maybe that's why we're doing a thousand. Bam. It's fine. I don't know why she's taking so much damage, though. 
I love Sir. I think he's a great persona. He was great in the last game as well. So, that wasn't enough to break your will. Come then, though you may accomplish nothing but to needlessly prolong your suffering. Okay. That's perfectly fine by me. I love suffering. Suffering Succotash! Hmm, this is gonna be a big place in there. Yeah! Hold up, I'll get up to the da, 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 da. ice fire. It doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, start we'll start with fire then. Yeah. God, I love her. Uh, full analysis, complete analysis. Immediately knowing what all the weaknesses and resistances is incredible. Uh, I'll take the money. We'll we'll check it out eventually. There's Trumpeteer. Heat Riser. Heat Riser is amazing. I want it. Um. There we go, Trumpeteer sorted. Trumpeteer! Eh. Okay, that's a dead end. What a great game. Persona 5 is still the best one, though. But, but, but. Okay, that's a dead end. Definitely rather start with fire right now, because you drain fire. But I can't do both, so I'm gonna have to probably block or defend. Uh, how do you all feel about physical? Alright, I'm gonna use that instead then. Death bound! You dodged. Very cool. Very rad. What is this? Can people stop dodging shit? Get out of here! It ain't going down. I don't know why she gets stats. Maybe it increases how many times she shows up in a fight, though. There's the stairs. I'm gonna take them. So you've made it safely thus far. Despair, emptiness, and hope. Those are the three qualities by which I selected those coming from outside. You showed the most grounding of the three. I would expect nothing less. In which case, I will personally and directly test your power. The three qualities? Did she mean Senpai, Namatami, and Adachi? Is an army saw those qualities in them? What kind of power does she have? Well, she's a goddess. Oh god, this is a big fucking area. Let's go this way first. Meh. We're pretty powerful at this point. The fights don't feel as if they're threats at all. But these are new. No weaknesses. Fire. Okay. So it is. Four enemies left. Don't give up. Two enemies down. Keep going, 
What an easy fight. As I said, these enemies are just really weak. Probably intentionally so. It's kind of crazy the way how Persona 5 really does have the same kind of dungeon design though. Mementos is obviously Tartarus. And the individual dungeons are the Midnight Channel stuff. Um, I just find it interesting. And then it's even got the same thing where you end up in the final dungeon and that's it. And you can only access the pharmacy and the weapon shop. It's exactly the same as... Um, it's exactly the same as dealing with... What's it called? When you're going into the Mementos Depths, and you can only access... Do you drain this? That's fine. We'll kill you all now. I hold up. Ooh, I guess I'll take you. I cannot believe you're still unperturbed, even after stepping so far into my realm. One had not the eyes to see things as they were, and failed to awaken his power. One chose to avert his eyes from the truth, and allowed evil to taint his awakened power. But this one, he has come this far, yet he still yearns for the truth. He still fights. It sounds like Izanami's surprised by Senpai's power, even though she's the one who awakened it. Could it be that Senpai's power went beyond her expectations? Thank you, Risei, for recognizing that I'm great. Ooh, bunch of... Right, okay, here we go. What have we got? Weak to physical, weak to electric, weak to wind. Do you have dodge physical? You actually don't. Okay, I will hit you now. I just missed in general. That's very annoying and very rude. Are you weak to wind? Yes. Okay, I'll start there then. How rude. How fucking rude. Right, that's one. Yeah, you do it. Does it just have a stupidly high evasion? It does have a stupidly high evasion. I just saw that it has a. Uh, it must be the auto super car that it's got. Uh, strong to. Oh, it nulls wind. Just hit it. Cool. What a mess. What a mess because I kept missing. Gold! I'll take that. Now, here we go again! Physical, lightning, wind. Right, I'll start with this this time. Please hit it. God damn it! Kill this guy! <sighs> Please hit it. Thank you. Give it again. Thank you. Nice. There we go. There we go. Good answer. Oh.
Kanji, that was great. Fantastic, Kanji Kun. I wasn't expecting that from you, Kanji. That's the Kanji Sweet. I know. Mess. Mess. One enemy to go. There we go. Finally. I finally hit it. Great job. Was it? It's a bit of a farce, really, wasn't it? Shinatobi pin. What the hell is that? There's another thing that boosts something. Reduce wind damage by 50%. That is definitely now better than the suppressor that somebody has. Let me have a look at everybody again. Obviously, you drain it, so it's not you. It's you, isn't it? Kanji. Yeah, you, you want that now. You want that. Big time. Wind Suppressor is now officially pointless. I think you want this. 50% is a is a big amount. That practically renders the... Yeah, he falls over, but... <laughs> a bead chain. Very nice. Stairs, but there's some other chest down here. Let's see if it's a gold one. There's a few other chests down here. Let's see if any of them are gold. There is! Wow, let's go. Alright, physical lightning and ice. Well, I have ice, so let's start with ice. I crit. You really get me going. Enemy defeated. Keep it up, Yosuke Senpai. There. Miss. She didn't run up to it. I say you knew it was a miss. Enemy death. Yes. Get fucked. Nerd. <laughs> Skill level up. Skill. The Eye of Wind. Alright, what the hell is that? I'm assuming that's increased the damage by 50%. Oh, greatly evades, uh, greatly evades evasion. Oh. I actually did get an upgrade to it then. Greatly raises the evasion to wind attacks. just regular. There's two more chests over here. The hell's that? that enemy... Physical nothing. Point. Wind. Alright, we'll start with wind then. Nice, we got it. Shuffle time! Experience, please! These two personas are just absolutely insane that I'm using. I'm just carrying every fight by existing. I 
Uh, sure. Let me see what other cut. Let's see what we can change these all to. Cool. I will take money. Okay, that's a regular chest, and that is also a regular chest. Come on. Lifestone and shadow. Smart one. Okay. Nothing. Nothing useful at this point. Oh, that's a tiny tank. Electricity, fire, and wind, and what, and ice. Yeah, it's gonna reflect, and I don't have an immunity to ice. I have an immunity to wind. Wind, fire. No, lightning, fire. But these repel lightning. <laughs> Alright, let's start with fire. It looks as if I can hit everybody with this, so. Maybe I should have just done it again, but let's see what he accomplishes. Enemy down. Show what you've got, Kanji. With the wind? Man, he died from it. That's fine. That'll work. That worked out. Amazing, you could go Senpai. Two defeated so far. Come on down. I've proven my I leveled up. Sure did. Let's go. Why? Why do you oppose me? I did not choose free pawns in jest. It was all to ascertain what mankind wished for. I learned that man gladly favours falsehood over truth. Thus I sought to fulfil their desires by shrouding the world in fog. True, there's a lot of things we don't see, and yes, some of them we prefer not to, but that doesn't mean everyone wants to live blindly. His army has it all wrong. We gotta end this. I think we're pretty close to the end at this point, and this seems to be a very specific type of floor. Let's go grab the chests. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight you directly! Uh -oh. Off we got. Weak to, weak to fire, weak to ice. Okay, but you can all get hit by wind. Fire and ice! Oh, you prayed. Fuck you. That's amazing, Yukiko Senpai. Keep it up. All right, burning paddles. Let's go. Two enemies is amazing. Yukiko Senpai, are you all right? Just do it again. Amazing, Yukiko Senpai. Bam, bam, bam. He's fine. Two enemies down. And the victory, victory. Ooh, who the fuck is this guy? Saturnus. It seems to be a really specifically designed 
floor, so I'm just checking to see if there's any uh, keys or anything that I need to grab. I assume not, though. There's probably just a boss fight on this floor. I just gotta figure out where the fuck it is. Okay, that's a dead end. Yup. All right, this time I start. That one's a to darkness. Two enemies nice down. Move, Keep going, senpai. Soda. Two enemies. Okay. okay. Showtime. Are you ready? Yep. Leave it to us. Nice. Nice! Uh, the XP up. By 10. Alright, leveled up! Let's go, gamers! This feeling. There's something past here again. Be careful, senpai! Let's go in. All of this has been chosen by mankind. Whatever strength you possess is still within man's scope. You cannot surpass me. Learn that. Uh -oh. that one's immune to darkness. Good, that missed. That would have been a shitty start. Careful, guys. No weaknesses. No weaknesses. I didn't really do that much damage, but I'll just heal. Not anymore, he's not. One enemy to go. Keep it up. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Man, Kanji's insane. Who'd want our world to be covered in fog? We sure don't, and I know Nanako-chan, Dojima-san would agree. We're not going to let her do whatever she wants, right, senpai? You right. You correct. Big area. Let's keep. Let's go down. Hold up. All right, start with fire and then swap to ice. Two down. Keep going, senpai. Two enemies down. Good answer. Ready or not, here we come. Hmm. Can we kill? No. Just reset and join us. What a bitch. I will go to the Velvet Room before the end of the game, just to... Hmm, just to try and get more... ...stuff. If this is gold, I'll go in there. Nah. Is this the exit? Sure is, I'm just gonna take it. These enemies are really weak. 
How foolish, even if you learn of the truth, people will not find joy. What is best for mankind is to return the world to the void of its origin, where they need not shy away from the truth. All that exists will be thick fog and writhing shadows, a tranquility called peace that will last forever. Everything has been wished for and chosen by mankind. I shall abide by their decision. A thick fog and writhing shadows, so it comes down to her screwing up our world. We have no idea what we're about to face, but we have to stop whatever it is that is uh, Izanami has in mind. That's an empty room. I think we're doing pretty well so far. Is that gold or regular? Regular, fuck it. It's an empty room. Mm, it's on its own. Well, that was an easy floor. Do it go up? I'll just see if there's any gold chests. Gold? Gold. I'll grab that. Okay, what we got? Uh, wheat to wind. Wheat to wind, perfect. Literally a Yosuke fight. Come on, Kanji. Hit the one that was didn't fall. Nice. What a king! Very cool. Oh, do you drain ice? Oh, you, you just know it. Well, I don't want to use ice anyway. I want to use wind and then fire. Okay, I'm just going to do that again. A bold ball? What the hell is it? Excuse me, what the hell is that? Prevent fear. All right, let's throw down again. Just do that again. And then I'll do it. Electricity just one enemy to go. Keep it over. It's over. You heard her say it. Boom. Change to a persona. It's gold. Lightning, nothing. Okay. Then I know what I need to do. Just two left. Come on, this fight's not over. Enemy down. Perfect. Okay, six damage for lightning. Enemy down. Oh, it's showtime. Are you ready? No escape. Go! Knock them out! Resists all out. Alright, let's let's see how much damage wind does. One. Boy, it does more than the fucking lightning. I don't understand that aspect. It's weak to this, except not really.
Uh, I'll just say that. If we can raise Cert's agility so that it's actually fast, that would be nice. Chewing soul. Nah, it's just regular. I'll uh, I'll head to the stairs again now. <sighs> You'll resist to the end, won't you? Then I shall fight for the good of mankind with all my strength. You are but a few pitted against the wishes of many. Your strength is truly astonishing, but you are the exceptions. You will soon reach the place where I am. Now, come. Like she just said, I'm sending a strong reaction from just ahead. This really is the last battle. Keep your guard up, senpai! Alright, we're gonna get rid of this guy first. Yeah! Okay, and again. Senpai, that was perfect. Nice moves, partner. Warple blade. Ooh. I think it is it from you. All right, drains. That's annoying. Don't give up now, okay? Into flowers, walk. Amazing, you could go, senpai. Two to so far. Come on down. It's level up time. It's another gold one. I want it. All right, lightning, ice. Ice. Cool. So I start with lightning then. That's the way, Senpai. Do some more damage. Don't worry, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm here. Time to show my skills. No. Maybe I should have taken it. Oh well. Soul food. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna assume that's a dead end, but let's open the door. Yeah. Oh, another gold chest. I want it. Fire, lightning, fire. Okay. So it is. Three of them. Don't give up now, okay? That is very annoying. I'm just going to do that again. Amazing, you could go some high. Two, Kaka Dizaiken. Enemy down. Enemy down. I live for this part. God, I'm going to be very happy once I finish this game. It's been a long journey. 
Like, give me more experience. I think we've got quite a bit of money at this point. How much cash do we have? 88,000. We'll probably make a lot more when we sell everything as well. Shinatobe Vow. Increases wind damage by 50. Okay. I'm just going to take it. This is the end. Sure is. Alright. This is a good time to head back then. Wasn't that easy? This is the easiest dungeon I've done. <laughs> uh, yeah, just heal me. 651 yen. There you go. Alright, let's make a little saverino. I'm back in two seconds and then we'll fight the final boss. Okay. Daidara. Right, what can I make? The Crown of Truth. Tajikararo Sword. Red Gold Cord. Kacho Fugetsu. Blood Scale. Peerless Heels. Platinum Steel. Aegis Shield. Prophecy Orb. Brom Zero, Demon Claw. Opera Co. Okay. Alright, is this weapon good for you? The accuracy is not great. I'm going to ignore that. Uh, Yukiko. Attack goes down. <laughs> no. Aegis. Uh, that does more damage. And the, and the accuracy is still pretty damn good. We're not gonna sell that. Okay, what's the armor? We got it was called Opera Crew. See, I don't know whether to equip that or just stick with Auto Tarakaja. Because Auto Tarakaja is pretty good. What 
I probably should have better armor at this point. Something stronger than what I'm currently using. Nah, we're fine. We're fine! There's only one, there's only one more fight left. Unless I, unless I decide to fight the Reaper randomly. Oh, let's go into the Velvet Room. One last, one last check arena. Let's let's do some fusing, baby. Agadine, Maragadine. Oh, I can make Odin. Probably Agidine would make more sense, considering the fact that I'm, I'm in the fight. The only reason I'm putting him on is the final fight. Sure, let's make Odin. That's the ultimate emperor as well. Allow Agadine to change, no. Mother. Yeah, sure. Let's just mate these people for the sake of doing it. That's pretty useless. I'm gonna I'm absolutely sticking with the ones I've already got. But I can make Vishnu. What if I go for a triangle for these three? Azora. I'm not high enough level. But man, look at that guy. Oh! There's the, uh... There's, there's uh, Adachi's persona. Magatsu Izanagi. I mean, it's not out of the question to make it, considering the fact that I'm not going to be using this thing either. Actually, it does have all the super abilities that I do like using. Maybe... Because it has no weaknesses either. And it nulls death. Maybe I should make... A Dutchie's Persona. Because I'm not going to use... I only want to use that literally for the extra... For the stat stuff, which I'm probably going to want to use. Now let's save it. I think I am going to make a Dachi's Persona. But I want to save it just in case they do something stupid such as a fusion failure or whatever the fuck it was. Don't want that. Let's make a Dachi's Persona. It's a shame that I can't get Debilitate on it. Somebody has Debilitate. Oh, it's the Trumpeteer! Yeah. Ooh. Oh! I don't want to do that. Oh, man. That sucks. 
I probably can get debilitate on it, but I have to get rid of this guy, and I don't want to. to me, one who shines in unimaginable darkness. Will you even draw on your hollow self for your strength? I am a Gatsu as an Huggy. I will determine the path you take. Blah. Alright, my Garudine. Okay. Mega Dolan. Alright. Well, I'm gonna have that instead of Ghastly Whale. Power charge, oh boy. Heat, that's Heat Riser. I think it's too... No. Heat Riser's too far up. Well, we got him. What a, what a team. Let's go. Finally here. Are you ready? Yes. Congratulations in making it this far. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Root of All Evil. You granted certain individuals the power to enter the TVs. You created the Midnight Channel as well. And lastly, you started a rumor about the Midnight Channel to raise its public awareness. Is this correct? All save one point. This Midnight Channel you speak of, it is indeed a device to draw hearts into this world. But it was always your individual wills that would determine what appeared on it. Humans ache to expose their suppressed sides, while the prying eyes around them are curious to see them lay there. The want to show, and the want to see. I granted a window that catered to both. That is all. Everyone wished to know more about the people who became famous through the media. And the Midnight Channel was there to grant their wishes. Once the person they wanted to see entered the realm formed by human thought, they would appear even more clearly. I see. So that's how it worked. Are you saying all you did was give that initial spark to Senpai and the others, then watched things unfold? And the rumors spreading, things going wrong. We're to blame for all that's happened? People's curiosity was at fault? Everything was for your sake. To create the world mankind so wanted. Man struggles to understand one another. You can only truly know a finite number of people within your lifetime. But humans disregard this fact, and try to know more people than is possible. Only by comparing yourself to others can you define yourselves. Thus, your ever-present anxiety. Your anxiety causes you to see only what you want to see, and believe only what you wish to believe. As I said, your desire is for a world enshrouded in fog. Don't put words in our mouth. I must agree that the vast majority of people are exactly as you say. But we don't intend to live that way. If we were fine with the world you're making, we'd never had come this far, damn it. 
We'll keep searching for truth and figuring out who we are as we go on with our lives. We all will. Together. That's right! No more butting into our business! We will continue to live in our world with everyone else. That's why. We'll decide our own fate. That's it. Here we go. Massive fucking boss. Absolute. Come on! You know we've been through way worse than this thing. This is just the send off our leader deserves. <laughs> All right, time for the grand finale. Cool. <laughs> the game crashed. Very cool. I can at least I can skip the cutscenes immediately. Can't believe the game fucking crashed. At the end! Don't do this to me. I was ready before! I was gonna skip it. Knowledge of the truth is not everything yet drunk with truth you exceeded your role and became too involved now learn for yourselves whose wrath you have brought down all right let's go guys then come sinful sons of man that's a joke makes sense um yeah, I guess I'll just start off with Agadine. to me. Keep using sir. Oh yeah, I kind of feel as if there's a second. There's gotta be a second stage. There's definitely some bullshit. If this is it, I would be amazed. How strong is Sire dying? so easily for your foolish pride in stepping into the realm of the gods. 
Okay, so we need to use attack upgrade again soon. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, increase our attack, we say. Save me some time. Defense. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll take it. How do you miss? Final boss. Well, there's probably a second stage to the fight. Yeah, I had a feeling there was going to be more to this. Seems impervious. Well, probably something's going to happen. So this will do nothing, I'm guessing. Can you not understand? It is impossible to defeat me. Alright. What's the bullshit then? What's coming? Or do I just keep damaging? Hit an evasion. Alright, my attack's reverting. Do I just keep going? I'm just gonna keep going for the sake of it. I don't know if it's just guard though. Is it the guard? Uh, I'll just use this. Oh, I should have healed. Shit, didn't. I wasn't thinking. That's fine. Is there something I need to do? I'm just going to keep going. It's clearly building to something, I just don't know what. Maybe I do just need to guard for a turn. The HP is empty. I don't know what's happening, I don't know how to... It's either I'm just waiting a certain amount of time, or I need to guard or something specific. There you go. Ignorant mortals. 
Like a dime? I think I've just got to keep going. I think I think she's got more health. I think the health bar's a lie. It's a lie. It's not a glitch. At this rate, it would be impossible to defeat Izanami. You recall what Igor and Margaret told you. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. The Orb of Sight begins to unmask Izanami's true form. Alright, here we go. I think this is the real fight. Well then, allow me to show you my full splendor. Alright. Okay. I am a god. I'll teach you the truth of your minuscule existences. This battle will determine our future. A god? <laughs> Bring it on! You cannot defeat me with strength alone. Soon, you will understand. Look out! We've never seen anything like her! Okay. Start with this. All right. Let's see. Yeah, you can use Agadine. Come on, Rise, give me defense or attack. Pick one. Defense, very nice. Alright, attack reverted. Okay, it hits twice now. Oh, you bitch. Sagami, what the hell's this? Physical, did nothing, get fucked. Come on, Rise, do something really crazy. Oh, nice. I'll take that. 
Um, you heal. I should be on the safe side. Come on, hit it! Nice. The stage is already set for your demise. I'll end your lives here. Kuro Ikazuchi. Masukunda. Okay. That's pretty annoying. I still got them down. The next item was supersonic. Debilitate. That's not good. I still barely did anything though, even with debilitate. Uh Tarunda. Let's use Do we not have anything that just does it all? Oh, banger. Crazy how little that's doing. Kanji, your agility has been lowered. Protect me, Kozeon. He lost. Defense. Thank you. That actually saves me a lot of time. I will heal. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. I'll, I'll actually, um... Nah. We'll heal. We'll heal. We will heal! Alright. Two things are gonna happen right now. Kanji's gonna do a billion damage. Let's go. Gal Gallimize. Summons to Yomi. Ooh. Something crazy just happened there. I'm gonna have Yosuke healer. Because I wanna do this. Hmm, that didn't do as much as thought I was going to. Let me use... Okay, I'll just use this. Kazuchi. The Fury of Yasagami. Right, my attack's been reverted. What about you though? You still you're still low on bow. Uh, um We'll just do this then. Counting on you. 
Sanji, your agility has been lowered. It's over. Yeah! <laughs> Come on down. Okay. 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 Maybe I should use Brave Blade. Come on, Kanji. Hell yeah. All right. What are you going to give me? Mind charge. Something big's coming. Persona. I'm gonna stick with Garadine. I'm not gonna try Brave Blade. No point. Garadine's doing all the work. Uh, I don't know what's coming, so... But I think something stupid's about to happen. World's End! That's ghastly whale. Okay. Um, Yosuke Senpai, your health is really low. I think we won anyway. and curses. You. Uh, Yukiko Senpai! No! Not a chance! Uh, Yusuke Senpai! No! Alright, Kanji, it's just you and me. The shoulder barge is something you get, it saves you from a mortal blow, so they sit so they literally sacrifice themselves so that you live. Well the fight's over, I think I've won at this point. I think I'm just waiting for uh, I think I'm just literally waiting for the next attack. <laughs> Oh, you healed? That's not good. Rip the dream. That's very annoying to find out right at the last second. Kanji, no! It's unfortunate that our battle must end this way. But I think it's fine. I think they all know the part is that, you know, she died. Yeah, it counted. It's fine. All good.
Your consciousness is fading. Is this where you will fall before a powerful enemy? You hear someone's voice. What are you doing? Get up. You are not someone allowed to fall here. You must know already. The true nature of bonds. What bonds give to you. Here, listen closely. Merry Christmas, Hanford. See you later. What's the Enjoy the boxing. Isn't it too early to give up? You taught me what a family truly is. I had my hands full just with Nanako when you came rolling in. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to do. But then again, I can get back up as many times as I need to with you two with me. However painful it gets, I'll just grit my teeth. I'll get up as many times as I have to for you two. My father can be pretty stupid that way, huh? Don't go, partner. Everything inside me changed after I met you. I'm glad we met. I wouldn't have made it this far if I hadn't done it alongside you. You can't let it end this way, right? You can keep going. Right, partner? Hey, can you hear me? Don't close your eyes yet. I'll give you our strength. You're our last hope. Please, get back up just once more. A senpai, how much longer are you gonna just lie there? I mean, like that senpai? Not the kind of guy who can let it drop like this. That ain't the senpai I look up to. Get back up. Just one more time. Let me protect you. Senpai, thanks. I'm glad I came to this town. When I think back on all the fun I had with you, Senpai, please stand up just one more time. We'll be your strength. Senpai, if you stay down, I won't forgive you. You gave me a reason for me to stay just as I am. For someone like you to leave me in the dark halfway like this. Please stand up, just once more. Let's fight this together. Never fear. We're always together. <laughs> the fox's cry is weak. What's the matter? Are you gonna let it all end here? Come on, you're not alone. Just like me and Co weren't. I won't let you do this alone. You idiot! Always insisting on doing everything yourself! Some things you can only do because you're not alone. It doesn't matter if it's a boyfriend, a friend, or family. You'll always have to part someday. But our bonds mean we never truly have to say farewell. I'm sorry I can't be there to support you in your hour of need. Life. It's filled with so many things that are dirty, grotesque, and painful. There's no way you can stand it alone. But no one is truly alone in this world. You know that, since you've protected those precious to you, right? Come on, people are waiting for you. Come on, my dear. It's too early yet for you to sleep. I know you must be a little tired, but there are still people waiting for you. Have you really done everything you can for those precious to you? Thanks, mister. To tell the truth, to be brave, to stand up again, to believe. You taught me all those things. You have to believe that you're not alone either, mister. Mister, actually... You're only a high school boy. You must have gone through so much pain. Yeah, it must have been so tough for you. But it's wonderful to be able to protect someone who matters to you. You showed me that joy. Adachi. Man, you're so cruel. 
You make me take responsibility for my sins, but you're gonna let this bitch take you down like this? <laughs> That's hilarious. Get up. You're not like me, right? I think Adachi's so great. <laughs> sensei, I'll protect you, Sensei. You gave me my life. You're important to me. I'm not alone anymore. And neither are you, Sensei. I'm sure together we can do things that no one could do alone. Hey, big bro. Are you gonna leave me behind? I'll be a good girl. So don't go. I don't want you to go. Big bro. Can you hear everyone's voices? The people do not wish for a world enveloped in fog. There are times when they'll stop and think they can't go another step. But everyone desperately pushes on. Please, grant everyone's wishes. Bring light to people's hearts. Please get up. Just once more. Sure. All right, let's see how this goes. Because again, I did accidentally heal right at the end. <laughs> the hearts of those you form the deepest bonds with become your strength. Oh boy. Izanagi has transfigured into Izanagi no Akami. Hello there! Fuck you and your curses. Impossible! Can the will of so few surpass the will of all mankind? Oho Ikazuchi. Norman would stood the attack. How could I be defeated? How am I the one to disappear? Instead of the endless struggle, wouldn't it be easier to wrap oneself in lies and live in blissful ignorance? Isn't that true peace for humans? How many times do we have to tell you? The hell with that shit! Stop assuming you know us! <laughs> Very well. Then try and live your way. Power enough to erase my existence. You have already exceeded what I thought humanity to be capable of. You have lifted the fog in this world, as well as the fog in your own. And whether that will lead to happiness or not, rests upon your shoulders. Children of man. Well done. <gasps> oh, 
All right, we did it! Uh, thank goodness. It's really over now. Yep, this time it's all over! It seems this is more like a beginning for us, though. Well, now we've got no regrets for tomorrow. Friends that you can believe in and the many people you've come to understand. A strong heart bound to others trying to ascertain the truth. A firm belief in grasping the truth with your own hands while being misled or deceived. The power of these things has brought judgment down on what deceived mankind, opening the door to a new tomorrow. Welcome back. She's lost her hat! Everything's finally over. You really are incredible. I'm no match for you. You just fought the other me that split from my personality. The two Sagiri, the other me, and the me that is speaking with you right now. They were all originally one within me. But there was nothing I could have done without my powers. If not for you, I would have disappeared along with the fog when the hollow forest vanished. Thank you so much. You saved everything. I'll be all right. The fragments you defeated have returned to me and will soon become one. My name is Izanami no Mikoto, the fertile will that protects those who live in this land and fulfills their wishes. I will not forget you. Please do not forget. I am always by your side. <laughs> How marvelous. You have driven back a godly being and brought about a new world. The World Arcana. This will be the last time we summon you here. Soon, the fog will lift, and our destination will be visible. We will be arriving shortly. This journey was a fruitful one, worthy of marking a turning point in your destiny. Many a time along the way did the fog of lies prevent you from moving forward. Yet in every instance, you overcame the temptation of easy exits and false terminals. In forging bonds with those precious to you, you move closer to the truth, one step at a time. And my heart danced with delight to see you succeed. I am most honored to have borne witness to such a wondrous journey. Our destination is close at hand now. Well then, we have finally come to your journey's true end. Our contract has been fulfilled. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Thanks, man. Now, go forth and see with your own eyes. See the world you have won. The bright, magnificent future. Nice. 
Mission accomplished. The town's fog and the fog from the overworld have all been cleared. The human heart has the strength to shine through the clouds of lies and uncertainty. You and your friends were able to prove that fact, and that will remain true until the end of time. Yo. Well, this is it. You really are leaving, huh? It hasn't really hit me yet. No more senpai from t tomorrow on. <laughs> hey, quit crying. It's way too soon for that. But, but. <laughs> Sheesh. Um, that, that stuff's kind of contagious, you know. We gotta put on a good face for senpai. Didn't you promise that you wouldn't cry? Building a case against Adachi is going pretty smoothly. After all, he's made a full confession to his crimes. There haven't been any more incidents since then. Inaba's finally back to its normal, peaceful self. And Nanako's better now, too. I couldn't ask for anything more. Thanks for everything. To me, you're just as much a part of this family as Nanako. I'm really glad you came to stay with us. Sensei, I finally found a place for me. That's why I'm going back over there. To make sure it never goes wrong again. I'm going to protect that world from now on. I can finally be proud and say that world is where I belong. Man, Senpai, this town's gonna feel empty without you. How cruel! W were you even listening? We can see you anytime we want, you dork. Like you'll be gone long. Soon as you start craving something like ice cream, you'll be back in a flash. C come on, my honeys. Laughing that way isn't very cute, you know. You're just gonna be going in and out of the TV at Juness. How's that different from what you've been doing? Um, I can't quite decide what to do. At first, I only planned on staying here until the case was completely closed. Maybe I should stick to my original plan and take the train back with you, Senpai. <laughs> Kidding, of course. I couldn't do something like that. It's not as though we'll never see each other again. Feel free to call me anytime, even if there isn't a case to solve. I don't feel like saying goodbye either. Hey, you got any plans during the long holiday in May? If you're free, come over and visit. With no mysteries to solve, we can have some real fun. I'll make reservations now so that we can stay at my family's inn. Ooh, I can get my revenge for that night. Our surprise sneak attack will work for sure this time. Don't bring that up, you stupid bear. Hey, what happened to going back to that world? That has nothing to do with this. It's entirely different. That reminds me. She's not here. I would have thought that she would come today at least. You're talking about Marie? Oh, yeah. I haven't seen her ever since... Oh. Is she doing okay? She's in our hearts. to mean oh so emmy chan went back there huh oh my i've got a hottie for a neighbor now what should i do oh is that what you meant oh i thought something bad had happened to her why'd you have to say it like that well as long as she's doing well that's okay hey stop ignoring me but back to a serious note, she should have at least shown up here since this is the last time we'll see you. <laughs> this isn't the last time, stupid Moranji! Why do you have to 
say things like that too. It's almost time. You better get on the train. It's been a long journey. Come back anytime you want. We can eat ramen again. Me and Daisuke will definitely come crash at your place someday. As soon as I can look out for myself, I'll go see you. Cool, I'm guessing that if you had, if you had other school ones, they'd be, they would have been there too. Cool! Well, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Over there too. If anything happens on your end, we'll come running. Until we meet again, Senpai. Senpai, I'll be waiting for you. See ya. Take care. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Well, be careful. I'll see you, big bro. Bye bye. He's really gone. It's sad that he won't be around, but we will be okay, right guys? Doesn't matter how far apart we are. The bonds we've made will remain strong. Everyone's heart is connected to the people they know and trust. It's those bonds that let us all search for our purpose in life. As long as it's a purpose you believe in, there will always be someone who can help you fulfill it. You, me, and everyone else, there are no barriers. Our hearts are one. Right, Sensei? Yes, there's more to do. Summer vacation. The town doesn't seem to have changed at all since last time. I have seen the light. I've learned the most important lesson from the events last year. A man you've seen before is delivering a passionate address to the crowd. Unfortunately, this world is full of things meant to deceive people. The things you do in pursuit of justice may actually be a terrible mistake. One man is not enough to judge these things. It was a group of boys and girls who taught me that. In their spirit, I want to join hands with all of you to rethink this town's future. I want Inaba to be a town free from deceit and distractions that keep you from focusing on the things most important to you. Hey kid, do you know who that is? He's a serial kidnapper. Yes. He was arrested during those terrible murders last year, right? And now he's running for mayor. That was a surprise. He's so passionate, though. At first, no one wanted to go near him. But look at him now. I've been to a few of his speeches. I think he might be a pretty nice guy. If we can all work together on this and not get so sidetracked by passing trends, this town will regain its former glory. I don't know. I feel like you could vote for somebody so else. Please, lend me your strength. Please. Now Matami's speech continues. Apologize for your boss fight. Nobody seems to be here to welcome you. You decide to go to the Dojima residence.
There's no answer. The front door is locked. They seem to be away. You decide to call Dojima. seems busy. You decide to call Yosuke. Yosuke is an answer now, but did something happen? Nice, oh, it's the Daidara guy. Hey, it's Earth. From the shop. In Arba Central Shopping District, you don't see anyone you know. What are you talking hey, about? What do you think of beefsteak onigiri? We can freeze it and sell it nationwide through amazing commodities. It's the guy from One Piece. I don't know. Those are handmade, aren't they? I don't think we can mass produce them. On the other hand, maybe limited quantities and handmade are good selling points that could revitalize this town. I thought of moving away once, but I don't think I could bear to be away from here. I understand completely. This is where we were born and raised. We'll have to work together if we don't want it to fall apart. Great news! Juness said we'll have their full cooperation! Yes! Good thing we went to talk with them. If only we'd done it sooner. But what are we supposed to sell in a locally produced goods section? I guess the steak kebabs are good, but what other stuff is there? We're not famous for anything else. It could be anything, you halfwit! Vegetables, fish, even ramen! As long as it's something we put our backs into, it'll sell like hotcakes. You gotta work hard so you don't embarrass Janess. We can't be weak now. Didn't you want to burn down Janess? The shopping district is coming alive. You decide to go to Janess. Janess, food court. You don't see anyone you know. Away, idiot! Only because you were slow, slow like a jar of molasses. Shut up! He's going to hear. Ah, oh, we blew it. Oh well, here goes. One, two. Wah! Ma! It's a bear! <laughs> what are you guys doing? This isn't anything like we planned. The fuck happened to Kanji? <laughs> Reese's hair's Everybody grown out. Naruto's in clothes. I knew we'd run into snags. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, senpai, you're here, you're here. Did you miss me? Uh, we heard you were coming, so we planned a little surprise. I mean, things got kind of nuts when you last visited in May. We thought instead of you coming to each of our houses, we'd spice things up this time. Yeah, and we thought you'd miss us a little if you couldn't find any of us. I thought she was growing her hair out a little bit. It didn't go quite like we planned, but it's been a while, senpai. Were you surprised? Surprised it was such a failure? Yeah, I'll say yeah. I'll go with it. for even less reason than before. Mm. So, hey, senpai, how do I look? Did you think I was someone else? Is your heart melting? Oh, come on. You know who's changed more than anybody else here. I don't know. No, it's changed a bit as well. You ass hats lay off. You're getting a little rude there. <laughs> well, we have all changed a little. None of us can remain in stasis forever. <laughs> oh, stop laughing already. None of us want to be the guy who's always talking about how great things were back in the day. As long as we're all here, keeping an eye out for each other, we can change. Yosuke's still a show-off. Not me, though. I'm different now. 
Why, I've powered up so much that I'm probably a grizzly bear. Huh, sounds powerful. I'll stick you with all the manual labor then. Oh, hi. It's me. Did the surprise go well? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Sorry they asked for my help, so I acted like I wasn't home when you came by. I'm a pro when it comes to seeing through a lie, but when I'm the one who has to put on an act, I don't last five seconds. Anyway, bring them all back here. I've got a good meal waiting. He told everyone that Dogemer is waiting. Oh, really? Let's eat! Hey, Kanji! This is to celebrate Senpai coming back! Shut up, I know! He decides to go to the Dogemer residence with the others. Senpai, that's your second one. We get one each, remember? <sighs> you kids sure eat a lot. I thought I might have ordered too much, but look at you. Plowing through it already. Sorry about that, and thanks. Isn't Nanako-chan here? I'd hate to eat her share, too. She's a piano lessons. Don't worry, I set hers aside. Oh, didn't I tell you? Yeah, Nanako started learning the piano. She should be back any time now. I'm sure she'll be rushing home. Ever since she found out you'd be back, it's all she's talked about. Dojima is laughing. How have you been? Me? Well, my injuries are healing. Apart from that, I've been slowly moving on, bit by bit. Actually, I came across some information about an old hit-and-run incident. The victim was Chisato Dojima, my wife. I've been chasing dead ends and false leads for so long. But I think I'm finally getting close to the truth. Excellent work. Just when I thought I'd keep my personal feelings separate from my job. <laughs> it's strange. Though, it's thanks to you that I was able to draw that line in the first place. Thank you. What happened with last year's case? Oh, that? Well, I don't know if you heard already, but Namatame got released on lack of evidence. I can't tell you too much, but basically no one could reproduce his supposed methods, not even Namatame himself. He was very insistent on the details of his crimes, but a diary isn't enough evidence to build a case on. He came to me to apologize, but I told him he should come up with his own way to make up for it. He said he was going to run for mayor. I don't know how serious he was about that. Oh, so that was Namatame-san giving those speeches. Oh, yeah. And I went to see Adachi. What happened to him? Were you the one to interrogate him? No. I wasn't part of that. I couldn't be. We were too close. But he was indicted. It was probably just circumstantial evidence, but he said a lot of things only the real killer could know. After they set a trial date for him, I was able to go see him. I see. They say he's a model prisoner. The bastard says he gets better treatment behind bars than he did when he was working with me. Huh. Next time I go see him, I'll bring him a cheap cabbage. Dojima looks happy. Oh, she's got long hair now. Dad, is Big Bro? Big Bro! <laughs> Surprise, Nanako? Welcome home, Nana-chan! Teddy, too? And Risei-chan! <laughs> Everyone's here! I'm learning it's like Smash! Now, and I've been a good girl! I'm proud of you. I didn't think she'd ask to start piano lessons. Like mother, like daughter, I guess. Chisato was a piano teacher, but Nanako's pretty good herself. At first, I didn't even want to hear the word piano. Now that she wants to learn, I gotta get over it. I remember what my mom played. I'm gonna play it for you, Dad. Dad, the weather report's on. And now, the weather. It was nice and sunny today, but what will it look like after that? Here comes another god! Take it away, Mariko! Oh, it's Marie. <laughs> Mariko Kasumi here. We've been having a lot of rain recently, so starting today, I'm gonna make it sunny. I mean, after all that rain, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about any 
water shortages this summer. And besides, someone's visiting. I can't have it rain while he's here, so I'm gonna keep it sunny for a while. Mariko? Mariko, please calm down. Oh, but if it gets too hot, then some rain should be fine. He should tell me whenever he wants it different, and I'll change it. Just like that. Cool, I have the weather on speed dial. The weather forecaster is Marie. Oh, I forgot to mention... She's been coming here a lot. She's famous now. How'd she get so popular so fast? What was the station thinking? Her stage name's so boring, too. This girl will decide tomorrow's weather, right? Whenever she says it's gonna be sunny, the sun comes out. Uh, in her case, maybe. Thanks, Mariko. Tell our viewers goodbye. I hope you all have a good day tomorrow. Remember, the more you put in, the more you get out. The more you get out. I see that weather girl a lot. It's because she's a literal god. The younger ones at the station tell me they feel motivated whenever she does that. I'm not surprised. I feel it a little myself, to be honest. Well, I'm just glad the weird fog is gone. Now we don't have to obsess over the weather report. It is really great, though. Everyone in town is more motivated. Yeah, people have so much energy now. You're right. It doesn't wear you down walking through town anymore. Not like last year. Everyone has a more positive outlook on life than when I first came. It shows people can change. For better or worse, I guess. Depends on your perspective. After the fog lifted, I'm sure people just realized that it's a lot brighter when your eyes are open. There's a lot we'd rather not see. A lot of grime in the human heart. But if you close your eyes to everything, you can't even see the people close to you. How can you be happy like that? The only thing to do, really, is to keep marching on. Straight ahead. I'm rambling, aren't I? Guess I had more to drink than I thought. Oh yeah, Nanako, didn't you say there was something you wanted to tell him when he came home? Your cooking is barely food, Chie. <laughs> hey, hey, shut up! Hey, what about yeah, mine? Yeah, cold, Yosuke. I could have made something uh, too. Please don't. Hmm? Um, what was that? I can cook if I put my mind um, to it. Mm -hmm. So can I. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's... Uh -huh. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, well, then. One and... Two. Good to see you, senpai. Well, Kanji, it was welcome back. How could you mess that up? Hey, just shut up. Oh, so it's just the, the welcome back return home. <laughs> What a great game. What a great game that was. Fuck the Namatami boss fight, I'll never forgive that one though. I was surprised at how easy the final fight was. The final fight was super easy. Way, way easier than Nick's avatar. Probably easier, easier than the final bosses of Persona 5 as well. Um, because the Persona 5 final boss fight kind of goes the, uh, the Persona 2 route by having multiple attacks all the time. But yeah, that was really cool. Um, big fan. Big fan. Really glad I had an opportunity to go through Persona 4 from start to finish. Definitely, uh, definitely just, it's an S-tier game. Absolutely. I really liked Yosuke. I really liked Kanji. I really liked Risei. I really liked Naoto. I... The Dojimas were great. Nanako was very good. Um, I thought the best dungeon was Adachi's. Because Adachi's dungeon just looked awesome. It just looked real fucking good. Because um, the, Heaven, the Heaven Dungeon look, had, had really great music. But Adachi's dungeon just felt really good to go through and the fact that it, it kind of played and did a, did a couple different things that other dungeons didn't do was quite nice I was a big fan of 
I think the social links in this game are really good. Actually hanging out with the people and learning about them in this game was really neat. I mean, I didn't finish Chie, I was off by one day. And that was my own fault why I missed the one off by one day. I didn't finish I, uh, Ebihara. I think it's Ebihara. Um, Moon Girl, either. And I didn't even start Hanged Man. Hanged Man I just completely skipped. It was pretty interesting to just go through the game and even all the side things with all the conversations with all the townspeople and how all of that evolved and the story for a load of them continued such as with the spacey girl and the errand boy on the kids at the shrine and the twins because the twins just leave town eventually just loads of different um aspects of the game that i just really enjoyed from just from just from the beginning to the end I, I love the fact that your characters in this feel like friends, because in Persona 3, Persona 3, you're friends, but it's a lot, it's a bit more complicated, because your dude kind of just shows up one day, you're all working together to stop things, it's mostly, uh, they're more treated like employees than anything else. Uh, employee is not right the right word, but... There are people who have been friends with each other before you show up. You just you're just kind of there helping them through random issues, and it's not really. I, I would feel like it's not really a friendship. Whereas this game really hammered in that these people are actually friends with stuff such as the ski trip, the Amagi Inn trip, the fact that you return back to have another time speaking with each other for the extended epilogue. Just really. And the way how people just go out of their way to just ha just be friends with each other. Persona 5 does it in a kind of different way. Persona 5, they're definitely friends with each other. Um, but because of the code name stuff, it kind of... For some people, doesn't really sink in as much. Whereas in, this game really works. It, it really goes out of its way to do it. Um, is it better than Persona 3? I think this game's easier than Persona 3. Persona 3 is definitely the hard. I think... Would I call Persona 3 the hardest Persona? I thought Innocent Sin was pretty brutal. One, one's hard for all the wrong reasons. Innocent Sin's brutal. 3's, 3 is pretty hard. I definitely got a lot of game overs in that one. This one's definitely easier than, than it. Persona, as outside of the Namatami boss fight, and Shadow Mitsuo was a bit of a bastard as well. And Kanji's uh, Steam House was a pretty rough dungeon. for Because uh, that's definitely a spike increase after the castle. Um, I think it definitely builds on Tartarus, because Tartarus usually had different floors, but it was the same building over and over. Whereas this game had individual music, individual dungeons, so they clearly learned from what happened in Persona 3 to make it a bit more unique as to what you were going through. And they made it a lot more character driven as well, which was really neat. It was a really neat way of getting around it. Because um, Tartarus kind of doesn't really matter to the characters in Persona 3 outside of just something they have to climb to beat the guy. But in this, it was more a case of learning about each other. It's all part of the big mystery. Who did what? Who killed those people? And I thought the story in this game... I think the story in this game is very good. I think Persona 5... Persona 5 is my favourite game, so Persona 5 still wins. Because um, Persona 5 does a lot of stuff that I just... And I think the characters in Persona 5 are ultimately better. And, more in, and they have more going for them. But the Persona 4 characters definitely are a lot tighter at the exact same time. Definitely a journey from start to finish. Very cool. Alright, do we have a post credit scene? Or am I getting food? Ah, we took another pitch with uh, Marie. I will save the clear data. I'll put it at the top. 90 hours. Woo! Spicy amount.
Yeah, that's it for me for now. So I'm going to play Final Fantasy. I'm going to go for Final Fantasy VII Remake as the next one. Yeah, it was a very good game. Very enjoyable. But yeah, I'm going to have some food. I'm going to play Final Fantasy VII Remake in a couple hours. And go from there. See you in a bit.